Yo, welcome in guys, welcome to the World Warrior 2023 Regional Final. I'm Tenkoz and joining me is Castle. Castle, tell us about the journey this far and the players that we've got lined up for today. It's been a long three months. We started this journey all the way back in August of 20 for our very first round one. I was SF6 World Warrior for Oceania and we're finally here three months later. And uh, gotta be taking a look at the bracket very, uh, very soon, obviously. A lot of people, well, probably now that we've gotten ahead with the five weeks of the uh, of the rounds, probably the expected people we ended up at the end with. So um, I'm quite happy about this top eight. I'm pretty excited. Yeah, I'm glad about the representation too. We got two of our Kiwi boys in there, Zazob and Blackout. Uh, <laughs> so I'm looking forward to their matches. Uh, and then of course, we've got some killers as well. We've got Travis who's already um, qualified to Capcom Cup, just being a uh, a monkey wrench in someone else's plans on on getting in. Uh, Freezer, who's making doing a killing. He he won the last two, uh, and came back from uh, SEA as well. Uh, see with a just a ton of momentum. Uh, who yeah, else that, have we got that here? Singa that Singapore offline major, I think definitely. Ever since then, he's been on an absolute tear, taking the last two rounds of our World Warrior tournament. And uh, his first game is going to be against ROF, who actually went to our previous Capcom Cup through this very qualifier through the World Warrior system. So if, if I'm honest for him, he's probably hadn't had the results in the last few weeks that he probably expected of himself, if anything. But if if there's one mistake that you could probably make as a player is to ever put him, um, ever underestimate him. I think there's a very famous video of him popping off at BAM, the, the very first SO6 oh, major that we ever had. I saw that one. Yeah, you would have seen it <laughs> everywhere. And that was big. Him yelling at the audience isn't just like, it's not just, you know, him having an ego or anything like that. It's the, distinctly being against the people who are always underestimated, constantly not back him up. And if you're, if you're, I don't even want to say Dark Horse, because I wouldn't even say that. He's definitely going to be one of the most dangerous players in a bracket like this with the experience that he's had. So, and especially for a player like Freezer, who probably, I think I said it on one of the weeks, he's kind of jumped from not even, he never really hit Dark Horse status. It was like never really, he could take games of these players, but he was never really in that status. Now, Probably He's the favorite today. Skipped past it, and I mean, yeah. his last two tournaments, he was undefeated. So, like, at the moment, nobody's got his number for the last, what, month now? So, yeah. he's definitely a favorite. I mean, you could look at anyone on that winner's side and say, yeah, they've got some fans behind them, right? Um, what about uh, Zed and Cemetery Gates? I mean, I'll, I'll, so to break down the bracket as well, uh, it's a big advantage to be on the winner's side because uh, obviously you start with two extra lives, uh, two lives basically, um, which is different to the format last uh, last year where everyone mm. was on the winner's side. However, the uh, on, on the other side, you've got the loser side of the bracket with Zed, Zazob, Cemetery Gates, and Blackout, and they're on their last uh, last life. So if they lose, they're eliminated and lose their chance to go to Capcom Cup. Uh, so a little yeah, bit interesting, man. yeah, a little bit interesting for that losers bracket. I think Zed is probably. I say quote unquote the weakest player in his probably top eight and maybe even he would admit it uh to a certain extent but he had a really good run especially last week to secure his spot he had goldie chasing him the entire way so for him to make it all the way through including beating some of the players that we're about to talk about today so it's really important for him cemetery gates and blackout i think blackout's probably been the standard at new zealand would that be fair yep that's right he's uh strongest he, he won our major uh, mm. a couple couple months back and he's he's still got it you know hasn't fallen off. Uh, Zazob, of course, he's he's chasing the coattail. And I mean, these guys have all had prep time as well. I know Zazob's been putting it in uh, to try and get the best result as he can today. Uh, this has been like about a week for everybody to sort of research each other and <laughs> figure it out. Uh, it'd be interesting to see who will come out on top. It's really anybody's game for me. It's true. It's a different sort of game when you have be given time to prepare for someone. It's uh now you now we can go into really ultra specifics what kind of strings do people like to do what kind of pressure do people like to do what do people tend to do on their first defensive wake up when they're high on stun low health etc so we might see different kind of metagaming than maybe we would see in the regular season for a world warrior yeah so uh i mean these eight players have been fighting neck and neck for the last uh three months the big prize on the line, of course, is if they win here, they guarantee their spot into Capcom Cup, but there's also a, a pretty big chunk of change on the line. Uh, let's see if we can get that graphic up. They have courtesy of uh, directly from Capcom. Big thank you to them. 
uh, for supporting not just our World Warrior, but all the ones across the, the globe for the chance for these players to really show themselves over a series of weeks. And uh, I believe the price pool is about 9,000 US dollars. So yep, very US good, too. very good chunk of change. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that conversion rate. Everybody... Right? Kinda, we're kind of hoping that the Australian New Zealand dollar kind of tanks. <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> All I know is Zazab owes me dinner, so <laughs> I'm not, I'm not because everybody's getting paid out in the top eight. They That's fought true. for this position, so there's money for everybody. Anyway, we've got our matches underway. So our first one, uh, as you mentioned earlier, was is is Frieza versus RLF, and like I can't, I can't, I wouldn't bet on any of these matches, man. No, there's just there's just too much on the line, and I know all of these players want to make the best that they can here. Looking at the little head-to-head -head that we saw um, throughout the season, ROF had it earlier on. Freeze actually beat him in last week um, when ROF got to his fourth place placing. Uh, both of them taking 3-1 wins in their respective wins in this head-to-head. -head. So really could go either way. Form would probably suggest Freeza would win this matchup, but we'll have to see. I Obviously with a week to prepare and ROF in a, in a finals bracket could be a different story. And it's it's such a big advantage as well. Like if you can get to to winners final without dropping a match, like just having that two game uh, advantage, it's 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 not just like a statistic advantage. It's also like a mental advantage as mm. well. I was watching um, the previous because there's so many regional finals going on at the moment. Uh, it I is World Warrior Weekend uh, this week. Yeah. <laughs> it's just nonstop Street Fighter. Uh, there's one going on right now that I want to see yeah. with Flash Metroid, but. I'm gonna have to watch the VODs. <laughs> but just the, the advantage of coming in from winner's side, it's like you gotta take you gotta take twice the amount of games from this uh, from this person. Mm. It it can feel overwhelming, you know. I mean, close to what he said, if you make it to winner's final, you're guaranteed third place right now. So yeah. that that's the difference we're talking about for these winner's side brackets, especially. Looks like we're just winning on. Thank you very much, everyone. Oh, it looks like they just finished the other world warrior. Unfortunately, Flash Metroid oh. came in second. Sorry, man. No! <laughs> it's the worst timeline, man. Where's my Blanca players? Come on. They're coming. Don't worry. LCQ. That's where all they're waiting. It's gonna be yeah, top eight Blanca. I saw. I saw Mina do uh, do pretty well in a. Oh, here we go. We got here we go. Match. Frieza also making the legend status. Congrats to him for that. So between these two, I would say JP, uh, I mean, zones out E Honda quite well, but Frieza just plays his own game. And I think it's it can be stated, he's been feeling himself in these last few tournaments, you know? Mm. And that's when he plays best. Oh, nice little low check there from ROF. For the dry brush, trying to just slow spacing. Harry out of nowhere to take back the advantage. Frieza to get something done. Nice counter hit check. Again from ROF. Really a battle of the drive gauge as well. You can see both players trying to hold on to as many bars as they can because burnout for Ooh, either player nice. can be a death sentence. I think this game's yeah. starting off a little slower, both trying to feel out where we're at today. What kind of what kind of day is it today? Is that not quite able to get out, trade on the anti air, ROF in good position. Bullying his way out. Gets a, gets a bit of that screen, but the drive's dropping down now. The hell oh, that crash medium running. kick is really Jeez. annoying. E Honda with a bruised big toe now. Oh, oh my again. god! <laughs> I snapped ankle at that. We found the button. I can hear Tom ringing in my head right now. This character, man. <laughs> Corner for Freezer. This is where Freezer shines. Doesn't want to touch. Oh, the right through. Oh, he's his way in. Try to beat on the delay, counter hit. Can grab too obvious, he doesn't want to chase it, yeah. A lot of health, but burnt out. Not that big of a setup though, to be honest. Here we go. Still Level a bit low two. high, yep. Freezer's okay with this, he just needs to survive now. Almost out of burnout. Oh, beats oh. the command grab! <sighs> Pretty expensive, but we take those. Yeah. Frieza fighting his way out at the second round. I'm not sure if he had any other options. That probably was it, because I don't think he was quite yeah. out of drive-by yet. He had to do it. 
had to and do it. And the fact that the ROF hands. already spent two bars, it means this isn't as big of a, a loss. It's only one meter advantage for ROF, so this isn't the worst. Oh, picks up the stand heavy punch airborne. That's a ton of damage. It's not looking good for Freezer. Back to the corner. Controlled game by ROF so yep. far. ROF has just got his mind everywhere. Anti air properly, getting the perfect parries as well. Try to fade nice out. To oh, here we go. This will take him all the way to the corner. Freezer what needs if this. Can, if you can maybe search for a. I was going to say, maybe search for a burnout. ROF putting himself in a great position to try and get back yeah. out. Low overhead mix up. Again. He got through it. Got through it. Doesn't get but to the last part, though. This is going to be it? it. Yes. Yep. No, it doesn't even have to stand. First blood. He's got them juggle points. Nice counter hit check. And freezer to poke out. Wow! Great use of that far anti air. I don't see that too often. Mainly because Crouch Heavy Punch is so good, but such a great reward from it. Man, beautiful conversion on the punish counter. A Crouch Miyuki Kick has been the story of this set so far. It's been doing so much yep. work. It's, it's making it really difficult for Freezer to engage. Here Gets the parry, but Freezer's been sort of relenting on the pressure due to OD Amnesia. Will he. It's the same this time and the burnout. Here. Lot to chase. Oh, great, great anticipation! Arrowware. Level 1 straight through the DI. That's gotta be a heartbreaker. Oh, oh, oh. And again, he looks on point. Yeah, I mean, how many perfect parries have we seen from ROF already? It's, he's I think really it's two attempts and he's gotten two. So completely stopping Freezer's momentum. Oh no! There we go. Freezer's been scouting that all day. Finally gets it. Oh no! I think he wanted the rest of it. Can quite. It was a reset. It's enough. And it even at the AX, yes. <laughs> of course, of course. Freezer's the the mathematician. He's the calculator. Built yeah. in. Nice. Big big pick up here and a big meter lead as well. Going to the yeah, third. Straight drops in. it st straight for the uh, life advantage. Now it's uh, ROF's responsibility. Even I feel like up. ROF would want to try and look for a level 2 as soon as he's possible. He's saving it though. At this point, all you can really hope. Just try and find that oh. life lead. Nice crush. Freezer not looking okay. for it. Big damage too, That's and this is going to be burnt as well, and then he's got the bars to set up. Is Freezer going to be able to defend against this? Freezer's got no wake up. Level 1's pretty far oh, away still. He dropped the drive rush. Okay. Oh. That gave him the space he needs. Freezer fighting out of the corner. And now ROF burnt out as well. Freezer can last to get his drive bar back. He'll have a little bit of position. Before Freezer ROF can get there. Here we go. Just oh, 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 crowd up. Correct! <laughs> Auto correct OD headbutt. Is that how charges work? No. It's <laughs> on Freezer. One apiece. Oh, great way to keep calm, especially in that last round. It's always scary being in burnout against JP. Great way to weather the storm. But now ROF with the corner. Yeah, both backing out, not letting uh, oh, Freezer court. Yeah, he had to he had to parry the other side because yeah, he couldn't so hit him early enough. Oh my goodness! The perfect parry's coming out today. Everybody's uh, working hard. Ooh. Delay jab out of ROF. Just to the corner. ROF keeping Freezer boxed in. We don't need to keep this pressure up because his drive bar's pretty low. So that. Chad <gasps> Reed on the throw! Oh no! Oh, he bends himself out trying to parry the jab! He's got to hold this. Okay, this is a great way to try and get some of that back. Damage low. Burnout might not matter. It won't. Yeah, walked right into the spike. Wasn't expecting it to be that close. Still big spin for the first round. I mean, Freezer has fought from Maybe behind in all three of these games so far. It's always been ROF this first round. 
Cool. Punish no as well. Headbutt. That's a super expen uh, expensive punish kind of throw. Frieza not looking too good. Ooh. Yep. Big hit. He can't. He can't stand oh, no. to block all of those. Oh. He gets it. Why do we just continue that target combo? Finds a thread through. Frieza evens up a little bit. Not quite the burnout. Oh, big meaty! It's coming, crap! It's enough! Oh my goodness! Massive comeback! They carry Same again. again tries, yeah. tries to kick out, yeah, but there's, yeah, the way, the way that that works is I think there's a nine frame gap and uh, Gihon doesn't really have a good button to hit, hit between it. So it's a bit risky to try and lab it on the fly in a tournament with stakes like this. I tried to go out just before the portal was there. Both in a waiting game. That's going to be great. Is he going to try and burn out a little bit more meter? Yes. Go tries to go for the. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't expect that hit. Right, Antia. You can see Frieza being so much more aggressive than in the first few rounds now. Sort this of scouting out though. that ROF isn't too keen to use uh, OD Amnesia. He's got to hold this. Oh, I thought he was going to keep yeah. the level 3, but this is also great damage. Was well, that enough? Oh, did! He catches the jab as well! Antio. Frieza almost recovered. He's got six bars to work with. How will he engage? Does he choose the way he's maybe in? Finds. Goes low this time. Oh, oh boy! <laughs> You can see it on the uh, on the Tiny first five rush medium punch when he saw ROF do the parry. He's like, "All right, I got an idea. Hold oh. hold, hold my command grab, all right." But he was just out of range. Freezer on his last legs in this set. Low string from ROF gets beaten again. That parry sets up. Ah, uh, yeah, good answer. Freezer keeping ROF out. Oh, gets oh. for a drive rush this time. That's a really good punish. Scale, but corner immediately. Yep. And of course, the punish counter heavy punch doing uh, a full bar of uh, drive damage. Oh, oh, yes, the punish counter unfortunately drops too quickly. Can't get the punish. Yeah, it's very plus on the jump ins. Uh oh. Arhav's looking low on buy. If he can find that last one, he won't be able to do that low longer, but Freezer is running out of health to do anything with it. Oh no. Sets up the level two. Is it enough? Yes, he finds a way out. Just backs out of the corner. Oh, Arries the jab. Yeah. That's it. At the very least with Freezer, he got two bars out of ROF there. So we'll walk into this with an advantage. It's been... He's Fight. been 100% on those uh, wake-up supers, though. I'll give him that. But maybe that's just ROF being relentless in his pressure. Oh, good check. I know there's a little delay on this team at E-Pitch, but it's a lot of trouble for Freezer. Freezer just trying to chip this all out. Holding all of this chip. That's all right. Yeah, Getting I, six bars at the end of this, I think, is I think the drive bar is more important than any pressure you could possibly find during this burnout time. He did lose a bit, but he knows the only way he's going to be able to get his way back into it. Oh no! One touch and a level two away. Oh, that should be it! Oh. And it will be! ROF taking the first set. And man, I'm curious to see what hit him in that last section. It looked like he was maybe holding up. I'm not but sure. level two too strong. Yeah, man, that was... I mean, Frieza doing all he can to fight out, but man, that just looked completely dominant on Roth's side. I feel like ROF was controlling that a lot better than I've probably seen him in previous games, especially compared to last week. Maybe Frieza playing a little bit more reserved. I don't know if it's the fact that maybe you so, want to start off a little slower in general in these kind of I, uh, tournaments, but... I think this comes back to what we said earlier about that prep time, right? I mean, mm. there's a plethora of replays you can find on CFN. Like, you cannot play Street Fighter 6 and not have your replays uploaded. So, I know for a fact the opponents must have been scouting. As you said earlier, the um, 
the throw, you know, when do they tech, when do they OD amnesia, all sorts of information. So it's sort of that that meta game where you're like, do I do I change what I'm used to to like get one step ahead of them, and then you know it's Yomi on Yomi, Yomi just piling up that ladder. And I feel like in the first few uh, matches, Freezer was actually more hesitant to pressure in the corner. And we've seen this in previous weeks. He was dominating his opponents in the corner. Yes. He was extremely suffocating. But he would back out and try to bait out that OD Amnesia to sort of put that on the table. It wasn't until like, I think it was the third match that he actually got an OD Amnesia punish. So all of this relent that uh, Freezer had done, it sort of was to his deficit in the, in the first two sets. And that gave ROF the momentum, right? I do think, uh, if I remember correctly, I think over the course of those four games, he lost the first round of every single game, which kind yep. of signals to me that he's... It, it felt like he was always on the back foot trying to trying to come his way back into the game. And most of the time he was able to. He often took um, the second round and obviously he took the second game. But if you're constantly on the back foot like that, especially in long sets, it, it, it feels like a constant uphill yep. battle that you don't really want to be yourself in. Especially against a character and like I mean JP and a player controlling it like ROF. <laughs> Absolutely. JP and uh, E Honda, like, who hasn't had much representation at all uh, throughout the Capcom Cup tournaments, if you've been following. So, yeah, doing his best. Frieza is not out yet. Of course, he drops down into the loser's side, so we'll see more of him later on. Uh, for our next game, however, we've got uh, two returning champions as well. Panda versus Travis Style. It's and, a very I classic mean, matchup. It's an extremely yeah. classic matchup across uh, both NSF4, yeah, SF5, I'm sorry and now SF6. Uh, Pandaron being on Luke for most of this game, I think it was mainly known as Ken and Akuma during his SF5 time, but chosen to go with Luke this time. Travis on Chun. Travis is always like Chun, I think. Um, obviously, most known for Balrog in previous games, but I think Chun's always been a favorite character of his, but I don't think Chun was ever strong enough in 5 that he wanted to switch completely to maining her, so now kind of yeah, got the opportunity sort of, to. Sort of fell off in the earlier seasons and didn't mm. quite pick up where she left off in season one but in this one she's sort of like the sleeping hit where um everyone's sort of unanimous on jp ken luke guile to some degree uh, and then chun li is just uh as as the game's gone on she's sort of like sort of snuck her way into, into top 10 top 5 contention perhaps so i mean that extra potential you know i think that might allure travis to using her as well and I mean, in this game, she is a force to be reckoned with. You've seen her, uh, I think Travis did like a, a 60, 70% anti-air combo with her in, in one of the games <laughs> yeah. that I watched in Capcom Cup. And I was like, oh, okay, all right. I didn't know she had all that. Right, this character's got some sauce. I, I mean, see him eating, he doesn't look like that. <laughs> <laughs> I just get I just get 700 damage and some Oki, this guy. <laughs> he, he took the match. So on the uh, on the head-to-head -head in this matchup, particularly for SF6, it seems like Travis has most of the style, except for our last week where uh, Fortnite battler he was, Panda was able to take a 3-0 for the first time. But most of the time, it's mainly been Travis dominating uh, Panda yep. for the most part. So see how it goes this time. It could just be that Travis was already I mean, guaranteed his spot. So maybe threw it away a little bit, trying different things. Fingers crossed we've got, uh, we've got the Fortnite you know, strictly to a minimum because <laughs> surely well, after Panda. last week you would tell your you would tell your significant other that something big is about to happen and it's like yeah. you can't not not this week. Just wait. Just wait two hours, <laughs> Just okay? Wait. Please. You can get the squad together after. There you yeah, go, his girlfriend's away. <laughs> He's alone in the house today. <laughs> Alright, got him. That's, uh, that's one week of prep time. You've got to put your leave in in advance when it comes to your partner. I know I had to. <laughs> oh man, can't see these guys playing. So Travis, uh, again, as we said, has already qualified for Capcom Cup. He is literally just here for some money and to be a roadblock yeah. to disrupt. Um, he's, I mean, he's already won two of these uh, regional tournaments mm. and panda he won the first one but he hasn't had the same uh success in the previous uh, in, in the later ones so i mean these are going to be two powerhouses going at it yeah just looking at travis's stats here first first in cpt obviously and round two and three yep. um taking those pretty cleanly especially that the round three one i think he took it over three of the people that are in this current top eight here so 
probably the yeah. best match player to the players that he has to verse against today. I was looking through to see if any other player sort of dominated, uh, you know, had a nemesis, but I couldn't find uh, much success to that. I just know Zazov getting cooked by Cemetery Gates. For the, <laughs> seems to be a situation. I think the only That's... one I kind of thought was that Travis yeah. had a loot. I don't think tra Travis has ever beaten Freezer during this entire World Warrior. That might be the oh. only one I can think of. Other than that, it's mainly been Travis dominating everyone else, which is kind of like... Yeah. It's a little bit of an unexpected road. I always thought that Travis... That, so that obviously we have lots of top players in Oceania and things like that. And it's, this is especially true during SF5. But Travis was the only one I felt like never lost to someone that was like an up and comer. It, it was very rare. Like I'd see ROF, Rumors, BK, these players, they... Obviously they're high tier, but they occasionally lost to like some of these like new players that were yep. coming through. So they can get upset in bracket. I've never seen Travis ever get upset in a bracket. It's very, yeah. very rare that I ever see that happen. It's happened a couple of times it's, actually throughout this World Warrior, but it's so rare that it happens. It's like the expectation that he's going to win. I think that's probably why most of the internationals, when they watch maybe some of these Australian tournaments, they just expect Travis to walk at every single time, which isn't necessarily the case. I mean, we also want to see his uh, his panel as well. He's got the uh, blue steel going on. I wonder if he's got <laughs> another look for Capcom Cup. <laughs> That's when that first came out, and I was like, oh, no. It's, 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 cool. it's good. It's good. I was like, Am I looking at Zoolander right now? What the hell's going on? It's I'm like... pretty. I'm pretty. I'm pretty confident he has. He has. You know, painstakingly gone out of his way to craft a brand new look. Oh, looks like we're gonna do. Yeah, there was a little bit of uh, connection issues at the end of last week so they're just doing a quick test before we jump into it uh while we're waiting we so might as well talk Travis, about um, oh sorry go Travis ahead. Is, is Perth right what's uh yes what's pandas panda is Queensland all right can we get a kilometer difference between them just to... uh well, you're talking literally one side of Australia to the other Jeez, so okay. <laughs> yeah it's pretty it's pretty big like if you we, travel that big maybe... in Europe you'd be through like seven countries can we maybe condense the desert in some way to make this connection better or no? I mean, they can both move to NT. That's what you wanted. Like, uh, <laughs> just meet up at Midnight's house in Northern Territory, maybe. Just, uh, oh, yeah? Do it there. Meet in the middle. <laughs> Sounds easy enough. 4,000 Ks 4, in the chat, apparently. Ks. Jeez. All right. Stream the offline match. Maybe we're just going to stream it on a phone, standing behind them. Just like, uh, <laughs> I think that's we'll a classic. The, we'll, we'll miss the first set as well. <laughs> and and only half of the video will be on the screen as well. So, you know, because we're watching as well. Because there's the one person in front of you that will not sit down and keeps blocking your camera view because apparently they don't see you. I'm liking this authentic FGC feel. <laughs> this sounds grassroots as. I think this is going to have to be a, re uh, a suggestion for next year. Well, it's great because I got to go OHN next weekend. So I get to experience all that over again. It's going to be great. Uh, I love yeah, offline. It's going to be a good time. I need to come to New Zealand. You gotta tell me when the events are on because I definitely want to come to New Zealand next year. That's been something on my bucket list for a long time. Uh, uh, Shin came Shin came to uh, Southern Cross up, uh, I think it was two months ago. So usually we Sweet. have our big major in about September. Uh, Done, Shin. Come with you next year. Yeah. <laughs> our next, as uh, our as next I week. understand it, it's like uh, the four main cities, right? There's one. Uh, yes, no? so we got we got Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch, uh, and Hamilton. Hamilton. And yeah, those are the, those are the four. Um, it's a good time. The next one is uh, the next one we've got. Next major we've got is actually a casual one called Xmas Damager, where we uh, do team tournaments and get on the uh, get on the liquor. It's Ooh, good. fun time! Yeah, looks like we're on the verge. Uh, I think they're doing a connection test. So. All good. I guess while we wait, we could talk about a little bit about who's in the lower half of the bracket. So after this game, we're going to have Zed and Zazob coming up next. You know, two probably multi-game specialists, I feel like, from their respective countries. Is that right? Yeah. So? Uh, Zazob uh, is Tekken, Street Fighter. He's dabbled in Mortal Kombat as well. He's, he's just anything he can do to bring home the chicken money. I've always known Zed as KOF and Dragon Ball, I think, were the main two games that I remember oh, him from, besides right. yeah. So it's going to be like an interesting showcase of their talents, really. I know, I love the fact that Street Fighter VI is bought. It, it, it like brings element, elements from other games into it, so mm. like you get some anime players coming in, and there's like, 
more transferable skills than in previous games, I feel, you know? So mm. it's, it's just, Street Fighter Six at the moment just feels like, uh, it just, it's just really good to sort of gel your skill sets across different, different games. Uh, I'm keen to see how these two play, because, uh, yeah, uh, I've been I've been a little wallflower in Zazob's sort of training, <laughs> so I've, I've seen a little bit of what they're doing. So were you, I was gonna um, say, were you part of his training for this upcoming? For no, this week's, uh, he's got a couple of other Soul Factory bros okay. to fix him up for that. So he's actually had Kamze uh, helping him out uh, across the board. So we'll see. We'll see if that comes in again. We saw in the previous match where. Uh, it looks like Frieza may have done too much homework because he got sort of one upped further by the mm. way that um, ROF played. So it, it's hard to say how much is too much and how little is too little, you know? All right, anyway, like we're about to the way. And uh, OG colors for Luke. Very aggressive Luke, probably comparatively to most of the players in OG's OCE, I should say. Not that afraid of burnout, especially we've seen. Yep. And Travis uh, just sort of walked himself into the corner, but finds his opportunity now to pick up a little bit of Oki. I feel like that's the, the type of style you Ooh. play with Chun, right? Yeah, definitely. Oh! Didn't quite see Didn't it. get the Didn't shimmy. Nice, Regan. Right. Heavy kick is safe on block. And you're going to see a lot, of, uh, a lot of these players trying to make reads, baiting that parry at minus situations. Burnout now for Panda, and this is a problem because now Travis has the Oki, and Chun Li can be tenacious with it. Right for Shimmy. Goes for Shimmy. Just gotta walk one with that back heavy punch. Oh. That is gnarly. And he'll get out of drive bar just as the level one goes out. Securing it there. He's got so much to work with now. This is gonna be a problem for Travis. Oh, that should be it. Yep. Burns everything. And I, I want to mention that back heavy punch. That shimmy was specific. It had malicious intent behind it because he knows <laughs> Travis likes to use stand light punch to back medium punch, which is a, a pretty good punish counter trap as a shimmy. So using that back heavy punch on the minus frames of the stand light punch is just, yeah, that's pre-mediated. Oh, here we, we might go. see more of it. NTS straight into level three. I don't think this would be quite bounder. Maybe on the cusp. There it is. Can't block anything. You can already oh, see. Wow. Yeah, he's using all of the evasive maneuvers to avoid uh, getting touched by Chun's normals. Oh, was quite got right, stopped. Great check from Travis to take that round back. What a piece. And look, Panda has so many resources. Three bars. If he can do enough early damage on Travis, here we go. Well, speaking of early damage, spend straight away. Just yep. fair enough. Half with... half health in the corner, why not? As before, Travis spending level 3 in that previous round. Means they're pretty much on parity now. So no advantage for him. Let's do it the hard way! A little oh. bit of a miss. Oh! I think that was a um, miss input, but managed yeah. to pick up the Oki anyway. He's wiped his life lead actually down completely. And has yep. the corner now as well. This is a great comeback Can't by Travis it. so far. And I love how Travis backs off, just giving Panda the space oh, no. to hang himself. Uh-oh. Surely he didn't want to just stop there. Burn out, but one throw away. Tried it. He's got a level one too. Got to be careful how you trap. Oh my god. Travis burning himself out as well. This is bad Both positioning. Players. Oh, bad oh. jump. Perfectly timed for the fireball as well. Pan uh, Travis just trying to find any sort of spacing he can. Panda jumping right over. Now two up. Is it two up or one up? <laughs> I can't remember one, if that was on the connection oh, test or not. <laughs> oh, true, true, true. It does feel like it's been going that long, I will say that. <laughs> Concert back and forth. Great little lead for Travis. Bullying that life bar away. Travis now making some space. Again, sort of giving some lead to, to Panda to try and force an error. You can see, look at that. He's trying to keep a specific spacing. I wonder if the expectation is he's thinking Panda's going to be aggressive. So we kind of stick to that three quarter style screen, even if he has the corner. He wants to watch that drive rush so he can check it, which he's been doing really well. Mm. 
Using that stand jab into back medium punch, it sort of stops Panda's main approach tool. Dude, we're looking to back off probably a little further than we normally would. Just so we can there react we to something. There we go. Great whip punish. Travis playing an excellent reactive game now. Really understanding the style that Panda wants to go for. It's a good change up by Panda though, not to be too predictable. Wow, weaving These in and out with so these annoying. <laughs> Oh, here we go oh, again. No, that's what I was enough. talking about. That's going to be it. Yeah, that's a that's a barely scaled level three. You are cooked. Wow. I think that's 80% scaling, third hit in the combo after the 200%. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Dominant round by Travis to tie it up. Maybe sensing Panda's a little more timid. See if he can yeah, get you can see. walk down. Travis is uh, just adjusting that space now. He's sort of finding his own opportunities to get his own drive rush, and Panda's not prepared for it. Be bothered by that, Panda. We'll at least get the corner. Nice! Beautiful, perfect parry. Great way to use it for the side switch. Let's see, look, Travis is just Ooh. sort of... It's like, it's like watching... Um, uh, a bull oh, just being is. shepherded. Another check by Travis. Keeping Panda oh down. Oh my lord. Yeah, again, creating that space and then just taking advantage of it. Nothing started. Every Panda approach has been shut down. Another perfect parry. Straight into DI as well. Gets minimum scaling on this despite the perfect parry, so probably still and worthwhile. And the drive bar damage. Yeah, the drive bar damage is insane coming from a drive impact uh, punish counter. That's oh. one and a half. I think we can take advantage of it, but at the very least, nice lead end corner. Oh, he jumps himself out. Uh oh, here we go. Panda's time to shine. I think Panda needs to try and get to. Oh, never mind. He's gotten the burner already. Probably save this level three for the kill. If he can get there, it's still going to take a little bit. One touch. You know Panda Panda needs this. Drive is back. Now Gotta make it happen. Range. Oh, look at the little stagger. Trying to bait out that level one. Ooh. Oh, beautiful Last parry from parry. Travis. <gasps> Could he get more of it? Oh, he'll get it now. That should be it. Done deal. Travis, 2-1. And wow. not able to capitalize on that meter at all, really. What seems like uh, Panda bursting out the gates, Travis has just put a complete stop to him, a halt in the plans. Great overhead to start. See, as the set goes on, now Travis <laughs> is uh, more comfortable in finding his own opportunities. How did he block that low? Such a sneaky empty jump low. Catches him on the way up for his troubles. Travis dominating again. Uh, again. Yep. Panda having just a hard time, even if he's getting these straight normals, they're just not making up the same difference as Travis's full combos. Overhead! Yep. And he's... Oh, perfect opportunity for that overhead. Now it's got to be playing on Panda's mind. Match point now for Travis. Oh, interrupted. Doesn't get the perfect knuckle, though. And he's burned himself out trying to chase... Something down this. That maybe he shouldn't have. This could be the Panda's nail in the gone. coffin. That's really bad. Now, Panda's gonna have to be very smart with how he sees the use of these super meat bars. There we go. Yeah. Breaks Didn't out one. He's overhead. got another half. He's gonna keep his health. His drive bar back. Travis trying to make the most Great of it. Block Lots again. Of the Oh, weaves the gap! Gonna get a level 2 here, perhaps? No, keeps Yeah, I don't it. think he want to spend it yet. Now he can. Oh, he doesn't have any oh. bar to get there! He had to cancel straight from the normal and he didn't know. Chasing. This is Panda's opportunity. He's got to make something happen out of this. Oh, it's, it's a real hard position to be in. Now it just got way harder. Oh, sure, there's no, no way. That's gotta be it. That's so the swing on the scales and Travis just dominating the last three matches. Oh, that conversion from offense to defense was pretty much perfect. There was nothing 
the panda could do, could not get anything started. And that was just beautifully done by Travis. I mean, using the first few rounds to scout out exactly how Panda's going to be playing today. And then just, as you can see, the set goes on. He, he, he weaved in his own drive rushes. He weaved in his own forward movement to sort of stop. Uh, as like a stopgap for each. Each time Panda wanted to drive rush or jump in. And it just, like, Panda couldn't get a, couldn't get a single solid hit into a combo. You mm. notice that in the last few matches? It was just like, he gets an anti-air crouch heavy punch into block doki or crouch medium punch into, he's too far away. And then Travis, every time he got a hit, it was like crouch medium kick drive rush. I reacted to you pressing a button, I'm gonna do full extension into half the arena for the, for, you know, for the push as well. It's just, I feel Travis like the amount is... of checks we saw at the start dictated the amount of drive rushes pe Travis was able to do from after that. Yep. So he could get life leads really easy, and all of a sudden Panda was having to chase the entire time. It's such a difficult position to be in, especially against a player like Travis, who's probably built himself on being a more reactive defensive player, especially from SF5. Um, Taylor's and only being aggressive when you need character to. as well. Yeah. Uh, Chun Li really lets you play that style. She's got that explosive damage when she gets a hit. She's got that fireball that sort of rivals Guile in, in the way that it pressures as well. She sort of encourages you to come to her, really, rather than the other way around. And it just, Travis played that perfectly. So oh, we're moving down now into the loser's bracket. Remember for the loser's bracket, as soon as you're out, you're out. So these guys only have one shot at this and it's gonna be Blackout first up against uh, Cemetery Gates. It's a little bit of a uh, split for you, I guess. Blanco versus New Zealand. So uh, I don't. I don't think Cemetery will play Blanco. No, I think it's only going to be Rashid, really. Yeah, I think he only plays. I've, I've only ever seen him play Blanco against Luke because he specifically hates Rashid versus Luke. <laughs> he, he's actually Cemetery's turned more into a Rashid main than a Blanco main now. To my, to my chagrin. Maybe I, so, I still associated him as uh, as as uh, Blanco, so to say. Yeah, uh, Blackout. However, he's. Like, he's been JP from the start. I mean, if you've got anyone that's meticulous with setups, Blackout is notorious for coming out the gates of a new game with setups you've never seen before. And now JP's sort of been fleshed out. He's adopted so many diff uh, different techniques into his play. We'll hopefully get to see at least some of them. <laughs> Here we go. First match of loser side. Again, their lives are on the line. Yeah, Crazy Cemetery bat. just out the gates, yeah. Wants to close that distance, because once JP gets started, it can be very hard to get away from full screen. Oh! Wow! Great teleport away. <laughs> Didn't want to face it that drive needs. rush. Actually put Cemetery gates in a bad position in the corner as well. And uh, at a drive deficit Ooh. too. Able to escape though. Beautiful Antio. Okay, he can't be too desperate here. A little bit of a reaction careful. check early on, eh? All right, we can use those corner DIs. Look, Blackout is just getting smothered. Uh oh. And this is tricky. I guess Rashid also has the advantage of these meaty fireballs um, on wake up. So OD Amnesia is, is less of a threat against uh, Cemetery Gates. Three ball, three throws to finish it. Definitely not afraid of that. I didn't know Rashid was a grappler in this game. I mean, in this game, anyone could be a grappler. That's true. <laughs> Much better stuff for Blackout. This is more the JP that we've been seeing over the last few weeks. Corner immediately. Nice. Perfect. Dominant performance, and I mean, it Great goes time. both ways. Great way to reset yourself. Yeah, this is exactly why you could see Cemetery Gates blasting that drive just to close the distance. As soon as he can get within two characters, you're playing the same game. But if he can't make up that distance, oh man, JP just lays it on. The oh, straight through the ghost! For set up? No. Threatening the fireball? Now, Blackout. Sort of dwindling away, Cemetery Gates' his drive gauge. Big conversion, oh, too. Wow. This is gonna be difficult. Level 3 on Cemetery Gates' side, but is he going to get the opportunity to spin the bar? Oh, oh is that enough? My yes, it is! Goodness! Too distracted looking at the level 2. Didn't know what to do. Nowhere to run. Threatening command grab that early as well. 
And of course, when Portal is out, you sort of forget about Command Grab temporarily, but he waited. Beautiful setup there by Blackout. On the low cemetery gates. Setting up the win. Not too much with it. Nice. OD. He's, He's going to have to make something happen though. with the corner. Yeah. Oh, that was a little bit of an easy breakout for Blackout. Cemetery Gates needs to get back in. That drive is recovering extremely slowly. It feels like a millennia. Oh, what a one to avoid the, the portals. The double chop to stay above. Now he's outlasted this lead brilliantly. Low on the jump in. That was fantastic play. You could see um, Blackout thought he was spaced correctly, but because this was Marvel, he couldn't see his character, and that Crouch Heavy Punch just whiffed completely. Stops the pressure. Setting up, up level two. Oh, uses it. Ooh. Still gonna get hit and to the corner. That's a win for Cemetery Gates. Same story again. In Burnout, has to keep this pressure up. Wow, he's ready for that punish? Oh, okay. He's gonna do a good chunk of damage. Just gonna take damage, no reset needed. Still a lot of burnout to contend with, and it might be the end. <laughs> Can he get away from it? He's yes. trying to find his way in, yeah. I mean, if you block that heavy punch, you're gonna take a bit more chip. It's just a troubling situation for Cemetery Gates. Great start for him though. Oh, nice, the Ooh, faint the into faint. Drive Rush. Yeah, uses the freeze on the Drive Rush to get the anti-air on the neutral jump. Of course, Cemetery Gates fighting back. Almost got Blackout locked in the corner. Here we go. You'll notice uh, Blackout hasn't used an OD Amnesia at all. A bit too uh, worried about those meaty fireballs. Mm. I think Cemetery Gates is smart to pretty much only look for it. If he has the opportunity to. Two. Here we go. Not gonna try it again this time. Oh, big punish coming as well. Top. Overhead doesn't combo though. It was he just too yeah. yeah, he's got a massive difference in life now. Big ODM Nisha see it as well. Wow. One setup away as well. What happens now? How do we get in? Burnout's gone. Some double jump. Sets up a vertical. Find a way to get uh, in. Nice in air. Air trading. Oh, finds it on the ground. Stubby Rashid jumpins. He was just too shy and gets punished, countered by the cane on the landing. It's been scary oh, space man. for Blackout. It's got to go 2 0 up. Another OD Amnesia on another throw. Blackout with the reads now. Ups to go for damage. 40% from that. Oh, cross. And a cross up as well. On the on the th uh, parry too. That's gonna do a chunk of drive damage. Oh, low speed. this time. Blackout I'm just pulling with the Reese. Oh gosh, <laughs> get the body bag ready. This is not looking good for Cemetery Gates. <laughs> that sequence is incredible. Jeez, you gotta be ready. You gotta be on your feet even on hit. The screenwriter couldn't have written that better. Here we go, Cemetery Gates not giving him a chance this time. Here, Here we, we go. go, lots of pressure. Sets up the meaty fireball. Oh, nice. Just popping oh, black out these in this race. Yep. God, pressure can constantly reverse. It's hard to believe it's 2-0 at the moment. Both of them have just had really dominating rounds. That's the tone. Sets up the fireball, gets a drive. I think that roll is safe, but Blackout wasn't ready for uh, to take the minus pressure. Oh, drive rush into jump just to bait out this. the throw. Overhead. Can he convert to level three? Yes, he can. Is that going to be scaled? That was from a oh, light, he, right? Yeah, he started from lights. So this if one not, it's going to be barely. No. Great position, though. Baiting how does he, how does he look for it? Hi. This is going to be big for jump. Blackout to come back from. Yep. Rashid wins. Big duff in the face. Cemetery Gates coming back from what looked like a dominant round. Finally on the Maybe board. Maybe we can't write this off too soon. Ooh. Right over the fireball, big damage. Low and then overhead. Managers get the reversal away. 
Cemetery Gates. He needs to get to the corner as quick as possible. That's where... He doesn't want to suffer with his JP neutral in the mid screen either. Look at these frame traps. Oh, nice! And the midi overhead as well. Nice to get a little bit more off. Enough. Oh. I don't know if you wanted the air reset there, maybe. Is that he enough? Yes. the level one. No, he gets hit. One too many forward heavy kicks. Uh oh. Good call out by Cemetery Gates. Bust well, out of the, the burnout. Nice check. See, sort of Blackout's control of this match has sort of fallen off with uh, Cemetery Gates up close pressure just being so hard to deal with. Ooh, one oh, of the whiff punish. Fuck. It's the Antio. I think he was expecting a check from Blackout on that drive rush to try and catch him off guard. Low now. He's suffering the Catches corner. the jab. Wow, that was all from a punish counter. Oh, oh still there? Man, again with the crouch medium punch. Wow! Still gets wow, the opportunity. Get from there. Oh, that is too hard. hard. Oh, expensive. Paper as well. mistake. Yeah, I that's... got another spike before he got to the CA. I'm not sure. I don't know, man. The guy's got infinite juggle points, but that was oh. just too early, unfortunately. Now Cemetery Gates tying it up two apiece. Oh, an empty jump into the low. Man, beautiful conversion. And Blackout has had no success getting out of the corner, but as I say it, an excellent jump over, not letting him set up these whirlwind shots. Eagle Spike! Oh, convert? Oh my goodness, the damage. Oh! I wasn't expecting the kill. I was not. Well either. calculated by Blackout. Back on match point. He's been here before. Oh, gets there first. <laughs> oh, weaves it in between. That's oh, a throw. throw. Yeah. Goes for the side switch this time. Into the mist. Uh, reset. Nice. And two. Uh -oh. To avoid burnout as well. Can you do more with this corner, though, is the question. That's a great start. It's gonna be. Ch uh, yeah, that's gonna be burnout. Oh, that's oh. two. Oh! Jake! Amnesia's oh still my there! Goodness. He's got the one amnesia setups. He does indeed. Makes as much space as he can. He is recovering drive throughout oh, that no. combo. Level two on deck. All oh, the pressure what is still is up. What is the situation here? Reed oh. sets him. I think still anybody's him. game! I think it helped him getting out of that. Uh, still the block! Oh, overhead! Oh, it's the overhead as the spike comes down. I Blackout. Love his choice. Uh, Blackout, man. Oh. His choice to, uh, to to teleport to the behind one just in case uh, Rashid had an ODDP on that in, on that first portal. And then following it up with a dry rush uh, overhead. That was dicey. I mean, Cemetery Gates came out punching after that, uh, that cheeky on-hit reset with the command grab, right? Yeah, it I was think it fantastic. woke something in him. Oh, I did feel like that game was a. a it was looking like the barrel of a 3 0, and I was like, this looks a lot closer than a 3 0 should. And Cemetery Gates came right back out of the gate. Taking two. The, the fourth game, especially, was pretty convincing in that fifth game. Cemetery falling apart a little bit, Blackout managing to take the win over it, but it was a fantastic set from both of them. Uh, unlucky, we're going to have to say go. goodbye to Cemetery Gates. Blackout will move on against Freezer, who's going to be his next opponent, as we move on to our next and final game before the break, uh, Zed and Zazob. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, Zazob. Unbiased. <laughs> you got one New Zealand through. How many do you actually need, really? Come on. Uh, let's get some more. <laughs> can, we, can, can we upgrade that stake into a ribeye? <laughs> I'm not sure who Zazob's going to be playing. Maybe Marisa in this one. Uh, well, we've only... I guess we've only seen two characters this season, which have been Marisa and Jury. Yeah, but he's... he's it's it's He plays them depending on the character, but also the player as the well. The player as well? Because uh, mm. Marisa, obviously, she has the, the potential for the two-shot. She's always going to be a loaded gun. Yeah, here Marissa, we go. There we go. Now, 
out. It's going to be on Zed, trying to do the, the same thing Travis is. Back out. Use that explosive pressure. Try to get some knockdowns. Sort of both players just feeling each other out. Finding the space that they want to sit at. You can see uh, Zazob not trying to risk whiff punishing. Oh, great interrupt on the charge. Absolutely. And chases the Oki. Oh, that's a lot backing off by Zed, though. Oh, oh, oh. Finds oh, a neutral jump. Catches the second Superman punch. Gonna be costly. Already Zed uh, making the most out of these opportunities. Uh oh. Oh, that's a bit pricey. Yeah, I think he was expecting something. He's got to catch straight away as well. Yep. Try to even up this life as quickly as he can. Still gets one situation. Oh, goes mix up. Grab. One more of those and the bad news. Zed wants nothing to do with it. One drive rush from either. I guess what's up, that's what they were searching for there. Finds it. Oh. Almost. <laughs> it's, there can only be one thing. There it is. <laughs> with the, yeah, with the <laughs> bumpers. Welcome to SF6. All right, I mean, it's a good button. And the floor is a bit dusty on the stage. This is my territory. I'm gonna mark it like this. <laughs> if you walk oh, into it, it's your own fault. <laughs> there we go. That's the. That's exactly what you're worried about. And this situation is gnarly. Straight to the corner. And this could be one guess. To be touch Marissa, that was touch number one. Zazab trying to bait a DP. Okay. Gotta build this drive back as well. Gets the corner. Sneaky little throw. Uh oh. Anti air. EX Gladius. Safe. Oh, you can't press after it though. Oh no. That's oh, a big gamble. It. And that's expensive as well. Losing the level two for the third round. The only reason I can think he goes level two instead of level one is he kills off the it. The kill. Yep. It was a gamble and both players were aware of it. Plus frames. Marissa bullying in the corner. Lots of damage here. Sounds like the second corner so easily in a lot of these games. Nice chance to get the round. Momentum shift now. And again. Oh. Did, who said Chun Li does not have throw loops? This is Did somebody third say strike that? like. This is third strike like. Flashback. It's actually <laughs> Flashback a little bit of specific. There's a specific knowledge here. Marissa has a slightly wider throw box, so Chun Li actually has a one frame perfect walk up meaty throw. Oh, which beats all frames. Marissa it's, only. It's specific, yep. Wow. I mean, it's also to Blanca, but, you know, Blanca needs help. Got level three for both. Zed lost an easy one to get there. Oh, no, that's, that's a chance. Gonna be it. Surely. Big conversion here. I'm not peering on Sage M's channel. This is gonna kill. Oh! I take it back. Oh, juicy overhead. Chun -Li wins. Say that. <laughs> Ooh. Still very close set. Oh man, Zazab out for blood. He's gotten the corner Lots so easily in a lot of these games. Yeah, I feel like that's that's part of the the, the, the Chun Li tax though, right? I, I feel like they offer you at least a third of the uh, arena before they start playing. <laughs> Just because that's the style they play, reactive, and they like to throw that Kokokan as well, so it's they true. need to make that little bit of space. Not the hardest character the, to get out of the corner with either, I guess. Um, yeah, on top of that, they've got a lot of tools to switch sides. And that's the two for two on the ODDP Zed. One more Damage of those. on the command grab. Plus. Oh, it's up yeah. again. Look at that, and that's so expensive as well, because that's an OD uh, Gladius. He's had fantastic choices through. when to go for that. Zed, pecking with the crash yet. medium kick. Definitely needs one more. Oh, oh no. no that, that'll be it. Yep. It should have oh. been if he didn't. <laughs> he didn't need to parry. He was going to parry the hit. Didn't there know he was go. that low on meter. It didn't matter. Man. Zed just looking like it's so much control. What is Zaza gonna do to reverse this? See, Zaza having a hard time contending with the ground game. And now everything's falling apart. Oh. 
I'm not Almost sure had the trade combo. Yeah. Oh no. Does he spend now? So much meter on Zed's side. Yeah, yes, he does. So much. He has to. If only just to get his drive bar back. And one situation away as well. He doesn't have to go in either. He can just this chill. Is this is Marissa we're talking about. Yeah, Never you mind. can see Zazob, Zazob is just having such a hard time navigating that 2-3 to three character spacing that, like, that's such a, a big lead to come back from. You character swap on big. the cards? Did jury help at anything? Oh, back to main menu. No, we're not. Oh, <laughs> no, committing. All right. Zazob locking in. Marisa, ride or die. Is it a chicken dinner or a steak dinner? We're about to find out. It's all right. I'll be happy with KFC too. <laughs> And Ooh, nice. spacing Z is sitting out. There we go. Oh, oh, damn it. is that a an interesting trap too? And oh my goodness, Z wow. caught out. Just Superman, looking for those pluses. Yes. And he's going for the he's gone. gone specifically. Yeah, it's gone. Now we don't care. And look at this racking up. <laughs> it just Dead creeps court. up on you, man. Literally between a wall and a hard place. Oh, that's the counter. He's trying to beat these Kokokans before they come out. And now Zed more keen to throw them. And you can see uh, the hesitance on Zazob's side. Zed has already threatened ODDP twice. He's given up a lot of pressure just trying to bait it again. He's definitely not the afraid card to do is it. on the table. He wants a reward yes, from it. Cross but... up. Ooh. Big situation for Zed. Getting out a little bit. Oh, they're backing off. Ooh, probably could have got more. See? Probably should have got more. Right tech. Oh, still there. Oh, punch right through and burns out as well. Zaza, not, looking for. Ooh. not sure what he wants to go for. Level three is on the cards. Man grab kills as well. That's a oh, again. Look, I mean, Marissa's crouch heavy punch makes her anti air on the ground so difficult. Mm. Zed is finding these opportunities to just do these gnarly cross up uh, jump ins, and Zaza getting caught out for a full combo every time. Oh, nice. Great use of the scootum there with the wall splat. No. Pops the combo. Check the dash. It's a slow dash, and he got there. Zed keeping Zazob locked in the corner. Right. Yeah, can't find any yeah. opportunity. This is going to be Burnout as well. Now it's on Zazob if he can make the reversal here. It's going to be an uphill battle. Oh. Again gets caught no. out, and that's going to be done as well. He's going to spend everything. Does he have the resources? Can he get to level two? No, that's definitely yes, he get it now. Doesn't even need it, really. Wow, 3 0. That is unexpected. The way Zed was playing just tailored to Zazob's offense. He couldn't get anything started. Even like Marisa, you're always worried about those stray stand medium punches, right? It mm. always leads into Oki and all of that. But Zed's defense game, on top of the spacing that he used, made it so hard to be a threat and just dominated all the, the, the whole set. I'm lucky for Zazob. Oh, I have to ask the question. Do you think Jury would have been any better for him there? Uh, I think it's up to him. I, if, if he committed to Marisa, that was an intentional um, mm. choice. Because he's been uh, Cam's as, uh, as our Chun player. So he's, he must have labbed the matchup and found that to be the specific answer for him. Got but to do, yeah. Zed, one step ahead. I mean, that's, the, that's sort of like the um, advantage of playing Chun. I feel like she gets so much information from that back off style and then when you've got the read on your opponent you can bully them you know you can murder them with uh, the spacing punishes and all that sort of jazz and it's like zed was continuously one step ahead of zazob and like zazob just couldn't find the answer he was like labbing on the fly basically yeah it almost felt it like zed just took like a what appeared to be like a defensive posture in neutral, but with an aggressive intent. So he's like, he's yep. still looking for all those hits. He's still looking. We saw those million crash medium kicks at one stage, obviously. <laughs> but 
we're, we're still looking for, we're, st we're positioning ourselves to be able to snap react and then also be able to do things that are really hard to react to. And obviously we saw things like Marissa's anti are getting beaten at some of those ranges. So mm -hmm. it's really difficult if you're that kind of person, if you're not being able to put on the pressure and the guys just keep running away, it's probably really difficult to try and get anything started even. Absolutely. So fantastic for Zed, he's gonna go up against Panda. Sorry, yep. I interrupted you there. So, no, that that's all right. So we've got um we've got our next matches locked in. Freezer versus Blackout, Panda versus Zed, and ROF versus Travis in the winners final. Uh, stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up soon. Uh, oh man, I am on the edge of my seat trying to, <laughs> to see these matches. We will catch all right. you all in a bit. Stay tuned. It's just too fast, too fed versus Goldie next door. Now, too fast, too fed really has just been trying to just stop all of his Queensland friends from making uh, making the finals, hasn't he? <laughs> I know they have their own Discord, so I wonder if they're all talking to each other. Yeah, probably in a call. And they're, all, they're all trying to stop him right now. They're like, dude, please, just let him win. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do that, brother. No sandbagging allowed. If you want it, you have to earn it. Yeah, it's the only 100%. way. I don't think Goldie would like it that way either, no. to be honest with you. I think he'd be very upset if he did. There's a great hit there. Oh, nice parry. Oh, that Goldie is facing Goldie's playing. Goldie's one of those players, and I think I think you'll agree with me here, that, that, that you can tell when he's comfortable. He has this very steady, comfortable flow, right? And I just haven't seen it all of this top eight. He just hasn't mm. looked like he's been as comfortable as he normally is when he's playing at his best. Like, he just plays this very fundamental, like, solid, basic sort of flow of, 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 of a Shoto, where you've got, you know, good quality pokes, use the oh, fireball as a poke, nice hit confirms, Ooh. great cross cuts, but I haven't seen it as much this tournament at all, to be honest. No, it's and... been a little... <sighs> is nervous the right word? I feel like it almost is appropriate for this. Yeah, I don't know if he's aware of the standings or where he might be sitting, but... Surely if someone's told him, it has to be playing on his mind a little bit. And it's, I think it's shown out in some of these sets. Nice way to hit though. It spends oh. everything but doesn't cancel! <laughs> 10 seconds. This is yeah, still I, definitely doable. I don't know if there's enough to work with for... Or oh, maybe now. Oh, now, maybe it now. Is. now it is. Level, levels... The Sybil will stop the timer. Oh! I bet you did! Oh, yes, it was! Dude, 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 if he had a lost that, I would have lost my mind. I, like, just spend the... Oh. oh. Oh my god. On the last fireball. I can't believe he didn't DP instead. <laughs> oh my days, dude. That was. Heart. Almost heartbreaking. Oh wow. Ooh, big jump in. Wow. There was a big hesitation there. That's nice. a nice scaling though. Combo. Optimal. Stop. Stop. Did I say anything? Said too early. Why did I say anything? Now we've burned out and he's in the corner. CA yeah, kills. Oh, oh no. he's dead. Oh, he's no. dead. He's dead. He's dead. I oh. killed him. I'm so sorry, Goldie. That was all me, dude. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh. There. Yeah, keep it together. Keep it together. Keep it together. All right. God damn. <laughs> Ooh, dude. All right. Goldie, not phased by what happened last game. Looking very steady, very comfortable. Yeah, nice, nice. bounce out. Great reaction. Pretty even on live. Ooh. I like the parry there. There we it, go. Uh, it, I think the key to beating uh, Too Fast, Too Fed this tournament, we've seen a lot of them on stream. Is um oh god this micro it's been it's been abusing their reliance on parry as a defensive option. That's what everybody that has well that's what we saw when when Zaki was you know finding success was abusing the wake up parry option and that's mm. how um ROF pretty much dismantled uh too fast too fed in that sort of first set they played in the winners side top sixteen. Nice conversion dude look at that. It's the combo he cash. dropped yeah. in the first game. I think that's great uh, mentality to not let it one miss put you off for the rest oh, of the Oh yeah, competitive mentality. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what the best do. You practice this a thousand times, drop on it once is an indicative of your ability to do it again. Nice back throw. Too fast, controlling the pace of this one. Life lead on their side as well. 
I feel like both are waiting for a whiff, but neither of them are the kind of poking sword, so you barely see it. Yeah, which is so bizarre because in previous sets, too fast oh, has been go. hitting buttons with like reckless abandon, but there's like a different level of respect here mm. for Goldie. It must just be because they play together a lot, I can only imagine. I feel as though Goldie has gotten maybe that reputation of being a very reactionary player. We see him don't hit Ooh. bad much in neutral, as I say that, that though. Nice. That was a really nice punish. Oh, just, but the bar just, 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 no, just dry. Okay. okay. Yeah, he definitely has earned that reputation. Um, over a few years of Street Fighter V and then, you know, launch of Street Fighter VI. Oh, wow. Ooh. That's going to hurt. Wow, yeah. identified the crouch as well, so we can yeah, get yeah. that combo. That's the second time. Um, that's the second time tonight that he's gone for the crouching specific combo. So, proving that there's not a chance. That's something that uh, Goldie has trained in. Optimal stuff. Oh, the version! Air. That could have been huge. Nice, nice cross cut. cut. Yeah, Goldie's always had. Can't stop in time. Ah. No, he can't. Got him. How does this equation work out now? Uh, bad. Let's see. Real bad. Oh, uh, okay. Real good for Goldie now. And so we can hold this corner. <laughs> Bro, he said that. Life depended on it. That was crazy. Dude. We are now a rank set. It's first to two. Yeah, absolutely. Jumps over. No cross cut. Big jump in. Absolutely. Doesn't drop it this time. Safe jump set up. Yeah. Very nicely done. Plus frames. Big time plus Ooh, frames. Punish counter on the throw. Yeah, Goldie's running out of life here. That's going to be round one. Punish counter on the throw is so, so much damage. Whoa. Oh, Ooh, almost the conversion. Oh, another big jump in. Got a good read on the fireballs here. Oh, nice. Uh, great. That, that, that's the second time they've gone for that. They're baiting specifically Goldie into trying to button there after the crouching medium kick. Toss it out, walk back, stand short. Um, Turn off. Pretty oh. much like a... Uh, I think too fast to first. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah, it was 1-1. One, one. It was 1-1. Yep. One, one. Yeah, so now the score is 2-1. to one. Yeah, absolutely. Don't mind me. I can't count. So with that, Goldie sitting on death's door, really. Oh, great yeah. burnout. Yeah. When do you chase? When do you chase that stun at the wall? Not yet. I feel like I could have gone for it by now, to be honest. The low he gets, Still the more no incentive bar. you have to do it. Speed oh, win! Wow, threw him out of it. I don't think that was on purpose. I think that was just oh. convenient. I think he's going to get it before he oh, uses any no. of it up. Oh, no. Oh, oh it's jump low. low. This is just falling apart here. Level two? No, nah, no, nah, I wouldn't have killed. Wouldn't have killed. I like the save there. Goldie, wake up left forward. Oh, no! I knew it! I missed it! I called it! I called it! I said wake up, loop forward, and then just drops the combo! What a disaster! Oh, I'm so sorry, everybody. I hexed him again. Okay, here we go. He goes for it again. This time, it's successfully. God is going to be wondering, like, what's this cold feeling that happens every time I go for something? <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm just standing behind him. <laughs> oh, dude. Here we go. Not out of it yet. Uh-oh. It's close out of it though. Oh, Level dude. three's on deck. Level Why three's you... on deck. Why did you say anything, dude? <laughs> Why did you say anything? This could be it here. One it is. Out Three. to Memphis with Goldie. That's gonna be it. One and there goes Goldie next doors. World Warrior OC hopes and dreams falling to the hands of his Queensland. Hello everyone, welcome back to World Warrior Oceania. This is the final round. This is where we find out who will be attending Capcom Cup alongside Travis Styles. And we're gonna go, oh, before I do that, actually, I gotta reintroduce you to my Bam. good friend, Mr. Tom Scott. I'm getting ignored, bro. I didn't I'm mean ignored. it, okay. Uh, thanks for having me back, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here. We've got the last dance of our inaugural uh, World Warrior for Street Fighter 6. It really is a pleasure. 
be back at the desk or the virtual desk of sorts for this one. So I think it's going to be a uh, going to be a grouse couple of hours as we chew through these last six competitors and see who's going to be jumping on a plane with Travis Styles to go and represent our region on the biggest Street Fighter stage in the world. So uh, it's pretty dope, and I am uh, yeah. It's always a pleasure to be here. Always a privilege. Uh, but enough of that, bollocks. We've got our first game up. We're jumping straight into losers uh, we are. this time around. So we're going to have Freezer, uh, who dropped to ROF 3-1, to one, I believe, uh, in first round of winners, going up against another JP. So, uh, you know, you lose one, you get the Whoa, other. He's going to be playing <laughs> the final NZ representative in Warrior OC, and that's going to be Blackout. Mm. That's why we had to actually get Tim off comms, just in case he uh, broke down if Blackout doesn't make it out. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're he always will. protecting him. He will cry. <laughs> I've seen him do it before. <laughs> he, uh, he's cool, calm, and collected on camera, but um, no, he's an emotional guy, you know. Mm. No, um, but I think this will be, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this goes. I feel like. Yeah, big day for both of these players, I think. Um, oh, 100%. Um, I, th I think Freezer probably has very high expectations for himself, um, more so than just about anyone else, um, with how he's been, you know, uh, really making a name for himself in Street Fighter Six and growing his profile as a player, um, more so than just about anybody else in the region. You know, we all know who our Travis Styles are, we all know who our ROFs are, but Freezer has really been carving out his spot on the global stage, and this is his opportunity to show why people, uh, show people why he deserves that attention. Last time these guys met was a 3-1 win for Freezer. That was back in round four, so only a couple of weeks ago. Well, it's it's, and I was going to bring this up. It's it's a very uh, different, like differing styles of how to play JP between ROF and um and Blackout. In fact, Blackout goes oh, a little bit Oh, did not want that? Yeah, that's not you what want he wanted. Grab. <laughs> uh oh, great situation. Meaty spike. Wow, five check out. And <laughs> you jump in. And secure Oki here, dash up, goes low, oh, I got hit, I got hit. I was 100% holding up there, I thought it was a command grab for sure. I think every, I think it's exactly why he did it. Yeah. Yeah, great first round there for Freezer. Looking Good confident. recovery too. Yeah, absolutely, it all sort of fell apart very quickly, but here we are. He's been trying nice. to use that as an answer. We saw that in the ROF game actually, he was using the, uh, the perfect phrase to answer to the cane swing, but doesn't get a lot of reward off it, normally not no. close enough. Yeah, I guess like... You're kind of taking away uh, Blackout's opportunity to continue their turn, but it's a bit, you know, risky as well. Because, like, um, I think Ting mentioned, you can't really challenge it in that gap there. It's something like nine frames, but Honda doesn't have a button. The reach oh, is far it. enough. Oh, that oh, one's going to reach now. far enough. Hits him with the chop. Keeps it simple though. I like that. Save the drive meter. Here comes Amnesia. Just got to hold that. Yep. But losing the corner. Not good. Not good for Freezer. If you can get this meter back, I don't know if it'll be a huge issue, especially now with Burnout. Yeah, needs to press here. Needs to use this as an opportunity to force his way in. Nice chop anti-air. Wow, bit of an impatient jump in. Black has got to be careful how he plays this because a level three will kill him otherwise. Oh, Great stop. Him. Great defensive uh, choices from Blackout to maintain himself. Overhead. Drown in that nice. burning state. Oh, now Freezer's burned oh, out. Wow, he's he's on the there. He got that. Oh, dude, that was forcing the issue if I've ever seen it. Uh, is it dead, though, so this is going to be a pretty rough one to make happen, although he burned himself out. I'm not sure about that choice, to be honest with you. Oh, what a good look for now. There's like an errand meter spend there, but Freezer can't be just jumping at him. Oh, there it is. Kind of just walked at him, goaded him into doing something, and as soon as he saw the option, the air-to-air -air with the uh, The OD expectation has to be, he's going to try and headbutt to try and bend me out. That's why I'm yep. going to use your jump right now. This is exactly yeah. what Freezer wants. Yep, it's, it would have been, yeah, or um, DR button. It would have been one of the two, but um, scouted by Freezer, he was one step ahead, and uh, that's game one on the board for the People's Champ. Oh. Slow enough. Faints as well. Oh, she's gonna throw out a lot of damage. This is definitely a JP round. Just that mid-range control. Freezer not really getting to participate much at all so far. Mm. Interesting. Something that I've noticed. Oh, oh. <laughs> the spike gets him on the way. Uh, something I've noticed about between ROF and Blackout is that um, Blackout doesn't seem to be oh. quite as fast with trying to optimize off every single hit like ROF does. Happy to just sort of claim that screen space, go back to the zoning. Oh, I didn't know the punish. 
I don't think he could identify the hands. Oh, there we go. I see confirm. Walking forward. Oh, oh that's out delay. those mediums, dude. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. I think one of the hallmarks I always associate with Freezer is his impeccable timing, and I think that was a great example of it right there. Yep. 100%. Freezer is looking real pretty here. Blackout's got to make something happen if you don't want to go down 0-2 to this guy. But jumping at him like that's not going to be how you do it. Needs to play that ground game the same way ROF did. Using those busted pokes. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Does he spend here or wait? No, we're going to wait. Oh, so damn. Just uh, throws him out of it. Let's throw this time. We went for the bait. Didn't oh. get it. Excuse the hit, but doesn't confirm. Now he's burned out and back to full screen. Is he going to spend the catch? He does. All of a sudden, this went from real good to real bad for Freezer. Blackout in great position here to pretty much force a real bad situation. I would not go for it. What? I cannot believe he did that. He can't kill though. No, no he missed it. Especially not with a terrible combo like that. No, he's dead. Oh, heartbreak. Heartbreak, away. heartbreak for oh. Blackout. Execution error into game over just like that. And now you're down 2-0 against the number one seed. I feel like he had uh -huh. so many options he could have done, he didn't know which one he wanted. He just didn't do any of them! The absolute worst outcome. Oh, in oh, Freezer. Yeah, he's, he's gotta make him pay now. for that drop. He's looking now. Blackout looking Press a little up. bit desperate now. He's trying to escape the corner desperately, holding north. Okay. Freezer burns out. This is every JP's dream. Yep. 100% just chip him out, even up that life, no unnecessary risks. Yeah, what do you do here for Freezer? You just got to hold tight and eat all this chip. But this is real wow. bad, although Freezer's going to get... Ah, oh, but he gets clipped anyway. I was wondering whether he'd find an opportunity to parry there, but I think the pretty much uh, the block swing was just way too tight. He was pretty much jailed. Yeah, so. he, he, I think he might have made an attempt at it, but I, I actually mm. like that a lot from Blackout to use level 2 only once it comes back, because the chip is nice, but the ability to lock themselves for even longer is pretty good as well. Nice level 2 off the bat to even it up. Oh, oh it again! again. Uh, yeah, I got... Must just be meaning to go for Oicho there, but is somehow getting the, the buff motion instead. Very bizarre. They're just trying to hit confirm off those yeah, great quality right right. mediums. It's yeah. done a lot of work for him. But Blackout says no, sends him back to full screen. Has a round advantage here, needs to push this tempo, but he's at a life deficit. Ooh, big time, big time. Gotta control space now. You've burned yourself out getting into this advantageous position. You've got to hold it. Nice. Patience. Goes to the level two, he just jumps out. Wasted oh. meter! What a disaster! Oh no! Set point, Freezer. Blackout just threw all his bar away on an air in level 2. There's just been some um, some critical choices that have just been massive mistakes. Oh no! Drop! He's let him back in. Blackout has a chance. He could burn out Freezer. Oh, oh stopped oh him my in his tracks! God, bro. Stiff right hand. One no good level thing. 3. Oh. Not enough of that. Burns himself Burn out. out. This is a desperation heave here from Blackout. Gets out. Needs to control Ooh. space here. Every hit is so terrifying. Clips him. Recovers in time. Not enough. He's got a wow. lot of chip on him. I think he's going to survive out of his. <gasps> Maybe not. <laughs> Gets him with the Oicho throw. Nicely done. Oh, no. Nicely done by Freezer there. <laughs> This guy just makes miracles happen, huh? Oh, he really does. It's um, super impressive. It's, uh, don't, there's another Honda in the in the world that uh, plays with as much heart as this kid. That's for sure. Fantastic so. from Freezer. He will go on 3-0. Unfortunately, that is the end of the New Zealand run. Absolutely. Australia is uh, withdrawing their, their invitation to let them join as a state, and Blackout was uh, solely responsible for that. Unfortunately. R.I.P. Uh, Somebody send Ting some tissues because that man is a bumbling mess right now. But that's okay. I understand. Uh...
we will be moving on without an NZ representation. You will be seeing Ting. I should say, before we move Ting. on just a little bit, it's been a fantastic season for Blackout, I think, definitely mm -hmm. for him, and representation from New Zealand in general. Yep. Uh, he's definitely been the pinnacle of it, and I think his run has been fantastic. To the letter end here, probably it's not what he wanted, but I think he should be very, very proud nonetheless. Yeah, 100%. It's um, definitely been uh, it's been a great season for New Zealand. You know, Ghost Chips uh, being that player that I think everyone expects to be the strongest in New Zealand and being absent um, this season left a big gap for a new representative to really make a name for themselves. Uh, and and we've seen that with Blackout, 100%. Zazob, of course, as well. But Zazob's been around a million years. Um, and, you know, uh, very, very, like, you know, well-placing in games like Tekken, Street Fighter, The Works. Um, whereas I feel like Blackout's been one of those guys that's been, like, on the cusp um, of breaking out of just the NZ circle and into the wider Oceania community. So very well done by him to do that. We would, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how he grows and improves for next season uh, of Unger Down Under. Because uh, it's dope to see these guys, uh, yeah, make a name for themselves in this new game. New speaking, opportunities. Speaking of uh, multi-game specialists, we're going to have Zed next up against Panda. Yes. Melbourne versus Queensland. Zed unexpectedly probably beat Sasob 3-0. I didn't... Doing you some of the research. You can't sleep on Zed, bro. You can't sleep on yeah. Zed. I'm sorry. He, doing he's, doing he's some just... of the research before this eight, he had a lot. He didn't have a lot of games against most of the top eight, and the fact that he was able to pretty much in dominant fashion be able to take that game, yeah, very well is, is, is for me it was unexpected. I always know he's a fantastic player. I always I always have like a bit of uh, like like I, I'm never surprised when Zed plays well. He he's a guy. He's a very like has good days player. Some days he just doesn't show up, and then others he shows up big time. Um, and I think it's just because he comes and goes from games. He doesn't like play all day every day. He'll play a bunch, and then he'll drop off, and then he'll play a bunch, and then he'll drop off. And you see that uh, a very like vivid growth in his play. And that's what we're seeing right now with the Chun, which is looking better and better every time I see it. So good to see some uh, Melbourne representation in bracket. Obviously, AOF being a winner's side, almost an expectation at this point, but. Always good to see a bit extra. On the reciprocal for Panda, actually, uh, we saw Freezer earlier. He managed to avoid the double jeopardy of JP. Panda's yes. got to do the same with Chun now. We'll see if he can make it happen. He's going from Chun A to Chun B. See if the approach changes as well in these games. We saw him a nice. little bit today. Oh, nice. Yeah, very, very clean. Panda's reactions are always going to oh, be strong. Delay as well on the meaty. Zed wants out. Wow, bust out. I respect that. Patience from Panda. Something that you don't tend to see as much. He's a very aggressive style of player, likes to push forward, make things happen, especially in a game like this one. With such strong offensive tools like DR, you see a lot of raw drive rush from Panda. Uh, just to close the gap and use uh, especially Luke's excellent crouching medium punch. That is a million dollar button on a million dollar character. Oh, no, it no parry though. That Chun sweep is cheap. Nice <laughs> DB, wow. bro. That was clean. This is what I'm saying. You can't test this man's reactions. Said Ben Edge from checking back in, holding the corner as well. And get something started. Good throw. Throw. Wow. Crashing Midi, he just whiffs, but I don't Ooh. think Panda was really ready for it. Oh my god, that crash heavy kick is just another poke, really. Chun. Oh, getting back thrown there is a disaster. Panda doesn't oh. hit confirm, but it turns into a lot more damage here, and this is going to be game one. Panda does not drop these, ladies and gentlemen, so that's going to be uh, a quick first one for the Queensland man. Very nicely done. As Ting said a little bit earlier on, he took out the very first round um, of our World Warrior tournament, but hasn't really gotten the results since then. Did come second in last week, though. So, which is a vast improvement. Yes, 100%. He sort of fell down the standings that little bit, but the second place really did help him. Going into this one. Oh, nice little walk on into the jab. Chun's jabs and stand medium so, so strong in this game. One of, if not her strongest tools. And this is a character that, as Travis said, you know, looking at top five here in terms of roster strength. Nice hit confirm. Going on the corner. Safe jump set up. Perfect play. Gets out. That sweep is Ooh, just so ignorant. Stop the drive rush. Wow, it's raw Hazan shoot <laughs> conversion as well. Doesn't quite kill. 
Perfect parry here comes Panda No misses Ooh. off the perfect knuckle. That could have been huge. Instead, it was nothing. Oh uh, no! Yeah, I was not sure about that one. Oh, wow, walk, walk under, under again. Check. Using that walk speed of Chun really, really well so far in this game. Corner instantly. Oh, Another convert. Panda was mashing. Spending here. Yeah, Only level two. level two. That's fine. He wants it more. You know, good damage plus to set up the next hit can secure the game here. Oh, for hello. Very nice, bro. Cleans him up with a P, and that's one apiece. That uh, that game was a wash, bro. That was that was quick. Zed just uh, made the adjustments almost immediately. So it's all gonna come down to what's Panda gonna do now to change it up. As uh. Senpai Nez always used to say the difference between 1 1 and 2 0 is a very big difference. So it was oh, yeah. fantastic yep. for Zed to get that on the board. Ooh, a drop though. Oh, but he turned it into a hell of a lot more damage. Has burned himself out in the process, but. Ooh. Oh, that's real bad. Into the corner we go. I like that. Throwing away damage for the screen positioning here. Wow. Just let himself get grabbed though. Whoa. Oh, no. Can't search. You can't search for it too much. This man is just holding north. I think Zed's gonna survive. At last. Yeah, he has. Oh, Panda's burned out with that traded and still comboed. He has to keep going. Exclamation yeah. mark Tom's in the chat, please. Zed still manages to take it though. Zed, as we saw in the Zaza game, doesn't mind giving up a little bit of space if it's easier for him to react. We actually saw it. Travis used this effectively against Panda as well. Oh, that's oh. a disaster. You are getting a beat down here now, that's for sure. No, nice. Oh, not damage. quite. Not quite burnout. Panda wants it though. Oh, he actually might not get it, and he's in danger of getting hit himself. There it is. This has been a scrappy round from the two of them. Don't test this man's reactions. Very nicely done. Looking for plus in the plus. Yeah, you can go for the block string now. Because of the fact that Panda doesn't have that meter. Decent chip, but... Oh, he needs a lot more work to do. Nice walk in throw. He's earned Panda's respect. Probably needs one of those again before the CA is oh, active. He might not get the chance. Frames. Oh, oh missed it. What a drop. Opportunity. No. There was a chance there for Zed to make that comeback. Absolutely. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately uh, a bit too antsy on the vibe check with jabs. Gets the oh. up the jumping. Oh, I think he messed that. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh. This is going to hurt. He's Zed messed too many. <laughs> 50% needed it for his drive bar as well. Let's try and get a little bit more. Let's walk up throw. He's been getting a lot of that. He tried to get enough, though. Damn, that back throw is cheeky. Burns himself out in the process, but I actually like the spend still. I don't know. It depends on how aggressive he can continue to be with this corner. That's a good start. <laughs> nice Level three. Punish, dude. Oh, oh no, shimmy! Not but quite, but we can get that again. If he can get this chip before it comes back, just dead takes the lead in the set. Crazy man. Now look. This one, if Zed beats Panda, I would call that an upset. But this is what I was saying at the start of the set. Zed just has these days where he's just playing in like his best form. And it looks like today is <laughs> a very opportune time to be one of them. We saw them trading uh, burnouts a little bit in that last game. See? Right, he's just, now. Nice. He's just <laughs> turboing that sweep. He's got on a macro. Bro, he's just hitting buttons now. Man is playing all heart. Oh, kind of hit. Nice challenge from Panda, and look at the damage on this one. Doesn't burn out either. Ooh. Wow, he to go out. Now Panda's no throw. <laughs> oh, that sweep is going to be so annoying during this burnout. That's it. Not quite. Oh, nice. Travis, big oh, time. Travis, off. <laughs> Finds corner. Harry. 
Level he confirmed. Three. Beautiful, Cheers. bro. Beautiful stuff. Oh, he no, went for he up instead. I understand why he didn't. I didn't think that was going to kill either. The next hit absolutely will, but... I can't tell the position was worth it. Panda, is he contained this control, this corner? Is that enough? Uh, yes, it is. And that's going to be... What? Bro, what are you doing, dude? Okay, all right. it's all right. It's okay. okay. You're all calm down. <laughs> it's okay. Saving, oh. it, saving it for the next game. That's all. Just saving it for the next game. Bro, the OCE special is just winning the game and <laughs> doing some garbage and throwing it in the bin. They want to keep that CA meter, but... And they spent all the pokies before the next game, so we don't never get to see it. Oh, damn. This is the final game here, game five for these two. Winner continues, loser goes home. Definitely the pointy end here for both these guys. Whoa. And the pressure was pretty relentless. Is that able to find his way out of the corner? Burns himself doing it though. Yeah, let's see how he goes. He's gonna have to keep this momentum going. Looks like Panda's made the adjustment, has noticed that Zed has Straight. been going for those shimmies. Oh, oh, it's wild. This could be huge. Yeah, he chooses to go for position rather than damage. No, I don't, maybe it wasn't the smartest decision after all. Hindsight oh. 2020. Not gonna be dead here, needs one more Seven hit. Meter. But now he's burned out. He's oh. pumping, bro, he is pumping that level one. The buffer oh, shuffle, I'm surprised he didn't time. do it there. Zed caught him sleeping and is now on set point. This couldn't be any closer, folks. Meter about even. Zed Zed fighting for their lives here in World Warrior. OCE skills the hit. Doesn't get the knuckle though. Oh, nice. Zed's cooking right now. Corner positioning. It might all be over. Is this it, it might this all be over. I think <laughs> this is going to be so close. I'm going to stay alive on a pixel. Oh, no, he's dead. Oh, bro, I could be real. I don't know. Man. I can't. <laughs> Bro, I just went through an emotional roller coaster right there, bro. That sounded like such an idiot. That's crazy. Nicely done. Zed continues taking it over Panda. Oof. Bro, I'm the worst will it kill participant of all time. <laughs> that was, that you and me both, dude. That was that embarrassing. That was me earlier on today. Oh, dude. Damn, Zed. Wow, man. Very, very nice. Impressive. Doing the loser's run. Takes it over Zarzob. Now takes it over Panda 3-2. to two. Made their way into loser's semis. Going to be playing against Frieza. But we got some winner's side to jump into before we, we get to that. And this one, uh, I don't know if you heard of these two guys before. This side uh, is Travis Styles guy. He's pretty good. You Oops. know, he's kind of new on the block. Um, and then ROF, you know. Some strange man from Melbourne. <laughs> I mentioned a little so, bit earlier on, I think ROF has probably had probably a little bit of a slump in the last few weeks, probably since mm, Singapore. Mm. But I, you never can about out of competitions um, like this. Well, the, the thing is that I know, I know ROF very well and, and that kind of thing just motivates him. Like, mm. it, it, it's it's not a confidence thing at all. Um, it, he, you know, sees these results and he sees things not going the way that he thinks that they should. He's a very confident player and as he damn well should be, he's world class. Um, but he, when he sees things not going his way, he uses that as a motivator to to get better. Whether or not he thinks that he should be winning regardless is irrelevant. Which I know that he should thinks that he should be winning regardless because that's a winner's mentality. But he, he you know, attacks it differently um, and and um, you know puts in that extra time. So I'm excited to see what that looks like here because this is going to be. Um, he, he really needs this one. Yeah, um, mentality is, but his biggest weapon probably over any of these other competitors in this in this top eight so you've got to remember as well uh with this that travis has already qualified for Capcom cup mm. through the cpt online uh brackets so what that means for um for for rof here is that if rof wins this winner's finals it's not certain it's not someone else could make it through on the loser's side instead of travis but it drastically improves his chances of qualifying because if Travis makes it into grand finals again on the loser's side, ROF gets to go to Capcom Cup. That's just it, right? Um, because if you know, if our if Travis wins, ROF will qualify as the second place player. So it's um, all signs are pointing towards this being uh, a great opportunity for ROF to all but secure his place at Capcom Cup in his eyes, I'm sure. Um, that he expects Travis to be in grand finals in some way, shape, or form. So 
still trying to get R off in the lobby, but I'm seeing a jury on my screen for Travis wanting to play jury into JP. I think that's a matchup they have played Interesting. before. Interesting. Oh, these two. This competition. Yeah. This is one of those uh, player matchups, right? It, it may not be so it's, uh, entirely about the character. It could very largely be just about the players. Um, these two have been training partners for a, a very long time. Um, you know, back in the uh, MGC days, uh, well and truly before they were both signed to order and uh, tore up the international scene for quite a number of years as partners in crime through Gfinity. Um, you know, Battle Arena Melbourne, Ozzoto Nationals, the works. Um, it was quite the... Uh, Quite the, yeah, quite the run from these two over Street Fighter V. Probably the most dominant pairing uh, in the scene throughout Street Fighter V, I would say. Mm -hmm. I think you're definitely right on that. And it looks like they're looking to carry that momentum into six. As they are both sitting on winners' finals. So uh, one of these guys has, I mean, one of them is absolutely going to Capcom Cup. And the other one has a real good chance of all but confirming it here today. Let's see. What ROF has in the tank? Riot's ROF, of course. Don't forget the name. Mm. What's Travis got here with the jury? This is a character that he tends to bust out periodically. Uh, Matchups, player things. Um, it's a bit of a bit of column A, a bit of column B. And the man was cheeky, well. dude. Want to grab burnout as well for ROF? It's going to spend straight away. Yeah, this is huge. All first. Went from uh, awesome start for ROF to disaster in a matter of seconds. Ooh, nice conversion. Oh, wow. A life lead. It's pretty much diminished, and now they're tied again. We like to uh, really strong tool against JP. That's probably a large part of why. I mean, but at the end of the day, um, you know, Chan can meet him show show as well. Wow, faints him out with the teleport. Travis went for the parry and got blown up there. That's round one. I think the other big thing in this matchup might be that drive rush to try and get past those ghosts. Definitely for Jury, that distance is enormous comparatively to a lot of these characters. Arrow burning himself out pretty early just to get to level three, though. It's going to be a great lead. Probably half his drive stock back. Yeah, massive life lead here. Great opportunity to just secure some space. But this is one of the things that I really like about um, ROF JP is that he's willing to play very aggressive. He doesn't just back up just because, you know, technically the character is considered a zoner. Understands that the, the best part of this character is his buttons and he gets in nice and close and abuses him. Oh, gets clipped. Back throw, that's game one. Great start for ROF. I'm not expecting... Oh, I was about to say I'm not expecting a character change, but I see Travis goes straight back to Chun, so I'm wrong. Doesn't like the feel of it, apparently. Nope. That was a uh, a bit of science, and it went poorly. So we will see... Probably going to be a Chun Li swap here, I imagine. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we'll find out in a moment. What the ops to go just... for? Yeah, it's interesting feeling the difference between... So statistically, I'd think... Jury does better than Chun in that particular matchup. I think the uh, mm. some of the Masters win rates definitely show that. But yep. comfort wise, if you're if you're trying to play the matchup just like that, it's probably not going to be enough when you get to some of these levels. Yeah, it, it needs to either that second pick needs to be a lot better than what you're currently maining, or mm -hmm. the other player probably doesn't you know, squeeze as much out of their particular character so that you're just playing the matchup. And I don't think that's what's going to happen here. So yeah, it probably makes stuff, a lot man. of sense to go back to Chun. Yeah, picky stuff. I'm always a proponent of just picky stuff in situations like this. Go with your gut and go with what you trust. You know, you can look at it be, like, you know, at the end of the day, it's all a numbers game, but uh, I don't think it really improves your chances that much of winning. When you're playing in someone that's world class, picking your subpar pocket, no matter how good you are, that pocket is never going to be as good as your stuff. So. Like you said, I think this is the right choice. Uh, but not much has changed here as ROF is in RTSD mode right Ooh. now. Nice way to side swap, even if it's just for the block. Just out of the corner. Guy was trying to maintain some space here. Walking himself back into the corner though, so all that work to escape could be for naught. Almost managing. There we go. Bang, nice hit. Any pressure. Ooh, two chances and they're both whiffed for Travis. Very rare. Well, again, 
yeah, into he's level two. It, yeah. Very, very smart spend. You gotta hold With this. The burnout still there. Good luck blocking that chump. Not dead, but this may as well be over, yeah. Just about a checkmate situation yeah. now. ROS playing true. very, very well. Travis earning corner early. He's been able to do that at least oh, a lot better nice than he could on Jerry. Damage still on the table. Goes oh, overhead this time. Sick. That was sick. Nice bait on the OD Amnesia. Went into the stance fake. And then tosses out the Hazan shoe to make a whiff. That was kind of crazy, dude. That was... That was... That was <laughs> Damn, bro. That was clean. That was clean. Travis playing some uh, mind games right now. That was sick. Oh, we're not phased, though. Another great start here. Oh, okay. And bust out. Yeah, Travis want to play out. defense. Blocking for chumps. Positioning. You can hold oh, overhead there. Can. No, I didn't think he wanted that. Yeah, he definitely didn't want that, that's for sure. Nice air throw. That's pretty much a OS of some kind, I believe, that Chunk can do with the air throw there. Oh, it's going to be trouble. Nice side switch. Great damage. Yep, going for the DI oh, combo, but the second one that? actually whiffs. Uh-oh. This DS is all of a sudden terrifying for ROF. No oh, air here, but gets punished Punish by the counter. Yeah. Duo here from ROF. The Chun proven to not do it, even though we've seen some uh, sick setups so far. But I definitely think it's closer for sure, though. Oh, 100%. No doubt. Drive rush into the low this time. Meaty fireball. Great choice. Oh, just kind of lets him jump. No conversion there. It's that one though, it's rare that you'll see Travis miss two hit confirms in a row and you see it just there. Controlled spacing. Try to or prevent the, the JP getting to that mid-screen. Mm. Trying to pick the right gaps to press the issue with the DRs, but unfortunately gets clipped. Oh, nice straight up! That's gonna be the round! Wow, that was sick. Great conversion from that, Hizanshu. Beautiful timing on it too. Like, what a great um, prediction there. Excellent oh, read below. from Travis. Getting three straight on anyone is tough, especially on RF. It looked like RF thought that was going to hit the wall, but it didn't. Near pixels away. Oh, stopped. Nice counter hit conversion there. Travis running out of bar here. So he seems keeping it meterless there. Doesn't want to burn now. Ah, nice jump out though. Oh, oh, nice again. Nice again. Yeah, he's going to do that every time. 100% he's going to do that every time. Level 3 is going to be on the board soon for Travis. It's going to be an easy win condition for him. It's just... Is ROF going to let him find that hit? I don't think he will. And ROF could have his in a moment as well. Whoa. There he is. That should be it. for both players. That should be it. Spends the cash. It won't go out like this. Travis. First game of three in a row needed to secure grand finals on the winner's side from ROF. A very tall task, but uh, hey, this Travis guy, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. I think he could probably do it. Have to find out and wait and see. Wow, disrespectful. Just busts out straight away. Ooh. Whiff and sweep like a madman. Oh, nice. That was sick. Nice reaction to the crystal. Ooh. We went for the fuzzy. Ooh. Sick too! Nice air throw, bro. These two are playing right now, man. Very practice from both. Oh, this is so bad. Yeah, now. This is real bad. Travis, yeah, Travis. gets clipped. Oh, we're fain going to be dropping these. And goes for the oh. Oki. Combos, you're dead. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. Set point for Riot's ROF now. Nice. nice. Bafa DR catches him on the way in. Oh, to so the shimmy whips. Oh, oh that burned him out as well. Oh, yeah, that's so bad. That hurts. Keep him in place. Bro, this DR, yeah, dude. Good luck blocking that, man. Oh, not only does he get the mix up, he got the side switch as well. And Travis is nowhere near from that drive bar. That'll help a lot, though. Yeah, how did he just find his way out of these situations? All of a sudden, Travis has all the screen to work with, but he's managing to hold his ground, knows he's going to have his meter back. 
Meet at end level three. Nice! Look at that lightning! Oh, oh, he misses his full punish! I think that, that could have been oh. the round! Ooh, even with level Yeah, I think level three still kills. Despite it's... the perfect parry. Yeah, minimum scaling. scaling, yeah, yeah. Should, be, should be dead here. Yeah. Very nicely done, Travis, dude. Like we saw there, missed that one conversion off the stand medium kick punish counter anti-air. Um, but secures the next one to get the round. Stays alive. But now we got a big time meter advantage for Travis. He really needs to prioritize not getting burned out right now. Travis to tie it up, ROF to take the set and move on to our grand finals. And with a one step closer to that CPT spot. Oh, it's not quite at the wall. Travis Safe. is running out of bar here. Gonna go for it. Absolutely. What's for dinner? And it's getting hit. This is real bad. He's about to get burned out. Yep, oh, there no. it is. Yeah, I was Start immediately. Say, I think that should that's be enough. pretty much checkmate. Very smartly done by ROF. Secures the sets on almost a checkmate situation there. Very nicely done from Riot's ROF. As he moves on to winner's side grand finals and must be feeling pretty damn good about putting his butt in that seat to get across to Capcom Cup. He is but one set away. Very nicely done by Riot's ROF, taking it over Travis. He's also going to be in a position where Travis is going to act like a gatekeeper to our final two contestants, Zed and Freezer. Yep, yep. They're going to have to get through him. Well, it's going to be a tough one for them. I don't think he could have written this one any better himself, to be honest with you. I think it's uh, pretty much all turned out perfect for Riot's ROF so far. Winner's side berth. Travis there to potentially do all of ROF's work for him uh, and lock in a slot at Capcom Cup by defeating one, whoever our next loser's semi-final contestant is that wins out of Zed and Frieza. All right, going to be taking a very short break before we get that, though. Don't go anywhere. I mean, if you want to get some drinks, that's okay. But be sure to be right back. Be back in five be... minutes and one <laughs> second. That's how long it goes <laughs> for, please. <laughs> we'll see We're you on a uh, replay. Yeah. Hold tight, guys. See you soon. A lot at stake, and in one week, that if you've got your if you've got your player pool here, you've got your priorities down, right? It can mm. happen. And you've got so much footage as well with so many people participating in these Unger tournaments. With CFN, there's so much uh, research you can do. I, I'd say these players are fully able to download the, the question is who's going to do the homework and then who's going to do the counter counter homework you know on the day here we go we have landed into our grand finals panda is back freezer also returning from a bit of a break since he's uh triumph over travis in the winner's final hopefully hasn't gone cold but he's looking to get two in a row this week taking that out on top of the, the first place standings as well wow Place that head by just outside of the sand shot range. Oh wow! And we're getting outside the range. Devastating. I mean, we saw that happen in the previous uh, set as well. Panda going for that charge heavy punch to try and bully his way in. Yeah, it's interesting to see the difference in approach for the answer. Travis, we saw, often wanted to do drive reversal. Freeze are probably not willing to because he wants to keep that drive bar. Instead of opting for the jump back, and it's led to this entire kill for the first round. Yep. It's so. Like, it's just a butcher once uh, Freeze gets you in the corner. He's proven time and time again he can close these rounds out very quickly. Nice armor through. Fight right for the low in the mix. Oof. Good work punish careful. on the stop sign. Oh, oh there we go again. Yeah. The extra mobility Freezer is opting for is giving these opportunities to him. Into level three. I don't know actually this one. We started pretty high. Pretty sure, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's locking that in. There we go. That that slam does a ridiculous amount of damage. They all do the always, same. It's always the last part. Just about, but the last hit always just throws you off. Freezer up with two to go. Deep DP. Man, they switches sides so quickly. Now Panda down two bars as well. <laughs> oh chop. boy. Freezer yeah. chopping out the corner. There we go it's again. It's the Urian handshake, man. It is the Urian handshake. Never would be proud. Oh, stopped again. 
And a clock gets started. These are uh, opting for these neutral jumps too. They sort of. Uh, Panda hasn't really shown that he's got an answer to him. Oh, to no! Fair, oh my god! She burns out with another, another one! Out. Oh, scooped! Trying to react to a DI. What is he gonna do yeah. now? He has to buffer, but yeah, I mean, you've got your, his stack is through the roof. He has to buffer for DI, he has to react to butt slam, headbutt, just everything, and then just Freezer weaving the gap with DI. Catches him off guard at that moment. Maybe Freezer's getting paid by Panda's girlfriend to try and end this as quick as possible. I don't, yeah. <laughs> Get the Fortnite going quicker. I'm like going. It's, oh, it's, counting it's, it as well. Wow. It's meticulous how much Freezer Everything. focuses on that Everything's drive. Everything's going yeah, up. This it's, is a speed run. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we're going to bed at a reasonable time tonight. I can say that. Clean, perfect. This has got to be a quick 3-0 with one round to go. If Freezer can do it. And of throwing the resources at the window, hoping something sticks. There we go. There we Opportunity. go. Opportunity. Uh oh Yeah, breaks the armor as well. Gets his way in. Goes for the safe jump. Still anybody's game. Oh, it doesn't quite follow. It's still whiffed. There we go. Spin. Reverse perfect. <laughs> wow. Panda had to hold the momentum. It was going real quick otherwise. Chance to fight back now. Whoever gets touched for this loses. That's the uh, the rule of the double P. You can see uh, Panda has sort of leaned off of the, the drive span up. Oh, it's said. over. Panda's won. It's not the anti air. Oh, the DI. I mean, Freeze has been showing so many answers to these heavy punches. He's so ready for this. Yeah, spending now. He's neutral jumped. He's parried. He's also DI'd. Like, I think Panda may be leaning a bit too heavily on it. And if we can find one more, there's the oh, burnout. Oh, no, Done! That's Goodbye! Fun. That is all she wrote. 3 0. Freezer, what a run, especially these last what? two sets. That's it! Dude, he just, he just sat on Travis and what? sat on Panda. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Unger Down Under's World Warrior OCE Regional Final. For Street Fighter 6, my name is Tom Scott. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here as always. This is my second time doing one of these finals and I am just as excited as the first and joining me for the grand finale this time around is our Lord Ting Koz, oh. the final NZ representative in Unger Down Under World Warrior OCE. How does it feel, mate, to be the last man oh. standing? I've, I've come so far for this, you know, I've worked my ass off, I'm so happy to be here, and you know, uh, like just like the other four players here with me, we've got Zed and Frieza fighting their way out, and don't forget, I mean, Travis has already qualified, he's such a huge roadblock yeah. uh, yep. for the other two competitors, because ROF's sitting pretty, two mm -hmm. lives to his name in the yeah, grand bro. final, it's gonna be a slaughter fest and i mean i think i speak for a lot of us when i say let's go freezer <laughs> <laughs> hey bro let's hey, go bro. but these nz guys and their bias commentary i just oh dude yeah can't believe I mean, it i mean come on it's mike ross's chosen one okay I, yeah I, that I've is got true a, that i, I got a root for him that is true that is true look freezer is a lot of fun to watch for sure um but he's coming up on what i would say is the I don't want to say biggest surprise because I've been speaking to the quality of Zed's play uh, all of uh, this bracket, but I think uh, Zed is definitely best on ground so far today in terms of the leap that he's taken in terms of the quality of his play. Uh, yeah, you, know, you said it earlier. He's just been getting better and better. It feels like a Saiyan now coming into this uh, this yep. loser's bracket because, like, man, I, I, I've seen him in previous tournaments. You know, he's hold, he holds his own. But today, he's just a completely different beast. It feels like, uh, as you said, he when he has his moments, he has them. And he's like the player that's on fire right now. Yep, 100%. He's definitely been best on ground today, coming through the loser side of the bracket. Uh, you know, making quick work of uh, Zazob 3-0, um, just showcasing how Chan can really win that Marissa matchup. Then 3-2 over Panda in a nail-biter. And here we are now in the loser's semi-final. 
with Zed versus Frieza, Chun v Honda. Let's see what we can do here. Frieza is definitely one of the most confident Honda players I think I've ever seen, especially once he gets into that sort of flow of his offense and he sort of looks, you can see when he starts trusting his reads a lot more. Um, yep, he starts right. to play a lot faster and looser and that's when he's at his best. I speak to it all the time. Um, he really needs to channel that now against Zed. And he's getting bullied here in the corner now and Zed is just exploding with his opportunities. Ooh, nice back, back green. This is, this is what I'm talking about, man. Just commits. Oh, wow, that jump heavy kick went straight <laughs> over the chop. I've never seen that. I think uh, I don't think oh, Freezer was man. ready for that one. That chop looked like it was a deleted catch, but not a neutral jump catch. Mm. I think that oh, would Freezer. beat a lot of... Um, I think that would beat a lot of uh, neutral jump buttons in that situation, though. It is a very, very strong anti-air option. It's just that because Chan goes so horizontal with that neutral jump heavy kick, it's uh, screwed with his timing and hits him with the chop. It hits true this time. Up Look to at the corner that we damage. Go. Using the level two to get that little inch toward the corner, that bit of damage as well. Drive. Ah, oh, baits the DP. I've noticed um, Frieza is uh, trying to bait these delayed options. It sort of came to his deficit uh, earlier today where he was trying to bait out OD Amnesia. And he's sort of mm. like, you know, as you said earlier, when he's confident, he's confident. But uh, he's been misreading these... Uh, these delayed options quite a bit. Yeah, today. a little bit more conservative on his offense, which has cost him. Uh, With but... everything at stake, I can see exactly why too. Oh, 100%. It, it, it'd be hard to not, like, you know, have an unconscious decision to just be a little bit more conservative when you know what's on the line if you lose this set. Speaking of, game one of this set slips out of Freezer's grasp in a quick two-round burst by Zed. This man is yeah. cooking right now. And like Zed isn't afraid to threaten those invincible reversals, but the fact that he held them to sort of, to sort of get a step ahead of Freezer, he's he's currently just leading in terms of the Oki right now, and it's it's giving him all of these gains, all this damage. Yeah, he's cooking, man. He's cooking. He's looking very very confident. Uh, it's uh, it, the 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 makeup of this set is it's very interesting when you think about it, right? Because I'm sure that Travis is sitting here watching, thinking, uh, boy, I hope Zed wins. Because uh, playing the mirror match against his own character, he's sure to be more confident than Honda as uh, Frieza has given Travis grief wow. in this game in the past. Nice conversion, yep. dude. The calculation on Frieza, he's got his uh, abacus next to him to count the damage, make sure everything everything adds up. Man, don't oh. start with me. Honda players can't count. I mean, they've got nothing else to do with all that spare, you know, mental stack, so... They can, they can count backwards to minus four and that's all. And that's only by necessity. Nice hit confirm. <laughs> Forward throw. Fully and into the corner. Oh, oh no, this is... What a response from Freezer in this game here. One throw away. Beautiful level one. And yes, he's tried to do something to get out. But this is Freezer with the confidence, right? Just pressing the buttons. Bro, Honda and pushing his game. Abacus. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> on the players eat the abacus. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, man, I'm hungry. Here comes some beef, dude. Oh, dude. I thought, I thought this was Dango. Why are <laughs> why is these hard wooden blocks? Oh, bro, you're killing me. <laughs> that got me good. All right. <laughs> We're one apiece now between these two. They've both had very high momentum games, so I feel like it's going to be about who gets a good start here. Oh, that got me. That got me good, bro. Look at, uh, look at Zed trying to create the space to... There we go, get the opportunity. Spent a lot of bar in the process, though. Uh-oh. Dash up. Wow, he tried to yeah, bait a DP there that... again. Yeah, 100%. I think, I think Zed's got a read on Freezer. Freezer's playing very hesitant today, and he's holding those DPs. Freezer just not being able to predict Zed's defensive options. And saying that's still pretty even. Yeah, meter-wise as well. Ooh, nice use of the stop sign to go over. Burns himself out though. Nice trade combo. Doesn't kill though. He's trying to He's... force the burnout. Force oh, the situation. <laughs> this is terrifying. This round is so important, and I think they both know it. Oh wow! He just lets it rip. I wonder if he was banking on the iframes because that was definitely a jump trap. Uh, yeah. If, if... That may have beaten Kakosha. I have to look at the. Uh, I'd have to look at the frame data. Yeah, that, that, big that's big call a, up there by Freezer. 
That's an exchange that I'm not sure of the exact sum, but all I can tell you is that it worked for Freezer. So, looking good for the young man right now. This Q is corner once again here. <laughs> what, dude? Yeah. Uh, devastating safe jump pressure. And look, he did two bars of damage, drive damage, for you blocking that safe jump. This has been an abusive round for Freezer here. Nice! Oh, Autocorrect on the head, but yeah. I love very, it. Very that clean. tech is beautiful. Yeah, again. that's. Again! Yeah. Yo, that. Dude. It is so consistent for Freezer. He is not letting you join him in the skies. Damn, that was a after a very quick first game for Zed. This has started to go downhill fast for the Melbourne man. A change. Ooh, nice carry. Zed with a bit of steam now coming in. Needs to assert himself and control the pace of the match. I feel like between these two being both very aggressive players, it's all about whoever gets that good start. Again, he just tried to bait DP again. Yep. Oh, Ooh, that's going to be a yeah, big hands here. Nice. Well spaced by Zed, looking for it. Look, Zed, trying to spy out a button, see what he can catch. Can he get Freezer overextending? It's a forward throw. Light pressure. Another perfect carry in. That's going to be the round. Spend everything here. Yep, 100%. Just spend the level one. Secure the round. Pushing for a game five here in this loser's semi-final. Zed is just saying, these uh, these butt slams are not your way in. Find another entry. We went for the perfect parry there on the AA, but it didn't quite work out. That jumping heavy kick is causing Freezer all kinds of grief. I, oh, I think he's accidentally oh, dashed yeah. into that. Wasn't ready, or maybe had a light punish, but didn't get the dry brush. And the cheeks to get out of the corner, but he put himself back in. So Zed using the the hop step to get over the armor. That's uh, that's an adaptation right in the set. Well, this is gonna hurt. Damage corner secured. Don't test his reactions though. <laughs> Again, and you can see he held the OD uh, headbutt this time. Uh, yeah. Zed is opposite something. Yeah, and it looks like Zed's struggling to punish um, some of these options, like the hands and stuff on block. That's going to be, be dead. Should be dead here. Yep. Level three. We're looking at set point here now, Freezer, but has had to spend all of his gas. And he's fighting a, a full stick of butter on Zed's side as well. Yeah, 100%. This is gonna. He's going to need to get a really good start in this round to secure this one, to be able to build the bar to start getting some hits, so... And this is not how you do oh, it. No. Can't Cost the perfect throw. parry. I don't think Honda can do much at all about that Chun sweep. He's just got to use it as a... Oh. Nice, dude. The full screen reactions. The amount of options Zed has been scouting in neutral. It's just been shutting Freezer's offense down. And this is going to be Burnout as well. Yeah, Burnout. He's not dead, but this is going to be super close. No, he's not burned out either. Fireball though. Oh, so you're saying that there's it. a chance. So you're saying, Ting, that there's a chance. Oh, there no, definitely. You're saying, you're saying that there's a chance. Wait a second. You're saying no. that there's a chance. Did I, did I Tom this? Oh, okay, now it's all good. You almost did. You almost did. My okay. curse ain't as strong as yours. But that was that was looking real dire, real quick for oh. Zed out of nowhere there. Wow. Even Freezer was a bit shook that he had something to work with there. Final game here, folks. Game five. We're going down to the wire here. The winner of this one moves on to play against Travis in the losers' finals of World Warrior OCE here. And the wild thing is, I think that situation might have opened the floodgates because Zed hadn't used ODDP at all in the whole set. And all yep. of a sudden, that looked like fear, desperation. Pick the right time to use it though, you know, Freezer had been baiting it the whole time. Nice, backdash, great read, goes low. Matches with the low. Oki again, same search. Good patience from Zed though, Makes just down space. backing out. Don't panic. Freezer has Freezer. a lot of resources to work with to try and bully out Ooh. some damage. Big time, here we go, lots of damage, no drops to combo. That almost looked like he was going for a sneaky <laughs> reset. Why did you test this man's reactions? That could be... Set losing here. You just gotta eat this. Oh. Yeah. Oh, but he jails himself. O okay, it doesn't matter. He had to react, and he did not want to do that. Ha maybe holding up gets caught out into the uh, the true combo. 
Match just point an, now in reverse to Zed. Just an itchy trigger finger there on the drive impact was such a costly mistake. Nice perfect parry special cancel though. Freeze it. He just keeps going for these EX butt slams and putting himself in these detrimental situations. How is Zed countering every one of Freeze's approach so elegantly? Yeah, he, he's cooking right now, man. The young man is cooking. Oh, see? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Even the, the strange timing on the stop sign. Perfect parried nonetheless. Freeze is starting to look a little bit desperate here. I'm not going to lie to you, Ting. It's not looking good. Oh, that was so cheeky. And he's yeah, in the corner. Oh, oh that was a mash it. for your life. And yeah. that was a massive mistake. Throws it all away. And Zed takes it. Has come all the way through loser's bracket to make it to loser's finals with the chun. I reckon that if we had fantasy brackets for this bad boy, there wouldn't have been a single person to pick Zed to get this no. far in bracket. So very this, well this, done to him. This could have been 1 to 20 and someone's making mad bank. That was not on my uh, checklist. I, I had freezer pin for that, but the way yeah. Zed handled that fight... I mean, the way Zed has been handling himself this whole tournament is just a force to be reckoned with. Like, he forces you into desperation, and that's exactly what we saw there yep. uh, with Frieza. Yeah, that was Incredible. crazy. Um, just, just like made the adjustments, man. You know, and and, and had a really good read on on how Frieza was trying to bait his defensive options, like we were saying, right? Throwing out those, uh, like, just a little vibe check on the wake-up jab over and over and over again. And Freezer, for whatever reason, was just so terrified of the reversal. And it ended up costing him the one time that Zed did go for it. Freezer overextends, loses the game for it. We go to game five. And then it looked like, um, you know, when we went into that game five, there a little bit of a mental guard break for Freezer as he just wasn't quite as composed in that... Uh, in that final set, unfortunately. I mean, you see this all the time, right? You saw the amount of perfect parries Zed was landing. You get you get the uh, opportunity to get a bit of positioning, but the damage is already scaled halfway. Yep. So like, like, just having each of your butt slams, each of your jump-ins, that stop sign, like even drive rush buttons getting just checked, parried, it just it just wore on Freezy. You could see him just trying to throw anything into the mix to get Looked a little bit in. lost, yeah. Looked a little but, bit lost in how to get his offense started. And I think um, a very like large Zed. part of it was well was throwing away the bar on the EX butt slam just to get parried. You know, you're throwing away two two OD bars there just to have yourself get hit, take some damage, and then thrown into um you know, get thrown into the corner or pushed into the other corner. It, like, it was basically just giving Zed bar to take momentum. Um, That's and right. It, it felt like just the wrong choice, I think, but, but, but for whatever reason. In saying that, yeah. Zed, Zed, I don't know how he was adjusting his stack that well. Like, it felt like mm. whatever Frieza was looking, for, looking to do, he was looking for and vice versa whatever um freeze was looking for he wasn't doing and that's why he caught him with those oddps he caught him with yep. those wake up crouch life punches and then on the on the uh on the defense he caught him with those perfect parries mm, like 100%. it's the perfect pendulum of uh decision making that i think zed is just like it, what he's doing today is is almost magic you know yeah like, yeah this, this is, is the best uh magic. this is the best i've ever seen him play uh street fighter six at least look as we said, multi-game specialist. I've seen this guy compete in a variety of things. I believe he was... Was he on order one of the seasons with ROF and Travis? So he won Gfinity? I could be wrong. Um, we did a, a stat check on that. <laughs> but um, I, I could be... I could be... Yeah, I was. He was. Um, so, you know, he, the, the success has always wow. been there. But definitely... Can, so, um, so, in this top three, you can, you can see... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you've got three, um, yeah, you've got three, uh, Leading the charge. three Gfinity champions here with, uh, Zed, ROF, and Travis Styles. So, obviously, this, this next set decides, uh, who's going to Capcom Cup. It's, it's, ROF is in such a good spot here. He doesn't even have to do anything, and he gets to put him, and be in a position where he, he could potentially go to Capcom Cup. Um, so Travis, once again, has already qualified uh, to Capcom Cup, so his position is filled. A at this point, he's playing for money and to be a massive roadblock to Zed. Zed, if he wants to make it,
He has to win the next three sets, one against Travis Stahl and then Roth back to back to come out first place. So it's looking extremely stacked against Zed. Yeah, he's got quite the road ahead of him. Uh, beating Travis in the Chun Mirror is also really tough as well. Um, that's a, um, I believe that in their previous matches together, it went horrendously badly <laughs> for Zed. Yeah. So, you know, it's uh, also everyone in chat, please say hi to Dudley before he cracks it at me because I'm holding him here in front of the camera. Buddy, say hello to the people, buddy. Hey, buddy. Dudley says, put Dudley in Street Fighter 6. All right, he's cracking it at me. I got to put him down. Okay, he's having <laughs> Uh, but no, Zed, um, look, he's got quite an uphill battle ahead of him. It's, um, but it, with the way he's been playing, man, like yeah. you said. Um, this is this is going to be fascinating because Zed and hmm. Travis today have very similar play styles. The way that they've been handling their opponents, that sort of, who is going to be walking back in this match? That's the question, right? Because both of hmm. them can't just be doing that. You know? So it's, it's going to be like... I, I don't know. It's like, I've got no idea how this is going to be handled. Is it even going to be a mirror match? Because I know some players don't like that. I've also got uh, no idea where Travis is. So I'm going to have a look in the Discord very quickly. Uh, he's uh, going... He's killing Zed out. Yep. He's on fire. Yep. Cooling him off. That is Classic. a professional strategy here. Um, yeah, it's going to be a very interesting next 20 to 30 minutes, folks. And I don't mean that because that's gonna, gonna be how long it takes for Travis to actually sit down and play the goddamn video game. I mean, just because this next set is gonna decide what happens um, in, in terms of who's going to Capcom Cup. So the onus is now on Zed to make it happen. And, and to, to be particularly honest with you, mate, uh, I don't think uh, there's a single person in this bracket that Zed, if I was Zed, I would be wanting to play less than, uh, than Travis. It's just gonna yeah, have to, though. no bueno, dude. <laughs> I mean, ROF and Travis is like your back to back. This is basically an elite four situation. <laughs> yeah, you know he's yep. got to he's he's got to just keep bringing the heat. Mm. We are going for the Chun Mirror here. Nothing too complicated here. We've got Travis in the pink, and we've got Zed in the blue that we've seen from him all tournament long. So. Let's see whether Zed can continue to move mountains here and potentially put himself in a spot where he can qualify for Capcom Cup. Or will Travis continue to gatekeep the entire region for the sake of a good chunk of coin? The tune of about uh, potentially up to 3,000 US dollars to be exact, I believe. That's right, big prize, 3.5k for first mm -hmm. place. Oh, excellent. Yeah, you can already see the ebb and flow of both of these players trying to see, are they engaging? Am I going to be the one that's going to have to do it? And the life lead is going to be playing a huge part in this. Mm, nice start there for Zed securing the hit. Actually has a life lead here early. Travis says no, bust out with the reversal. Went for a shimmy there, but another yep. vibe check from Zed. That, that was defense. That was a super expensive ODDP as well, because he spent three bars for the follow-up and didn't get anything out of it. And now he's burnt out, so... Ooh. Is he going to be able to get out of this? Level 1 Why? is a th Yeah, I was going to say, that's something. One of Zed's downfalls is he kind of autopilots on those, um, like, uh, burnout oh, block strings. Oh. And saying that it's to his benefit, because now he's got the huge meter lead and the round. Yeah, ends up maybe, being the right Maybe choice. not so afraid of the situation, right? Forcing some extra resources that you don't regenerate between rounds. Yeah, uh, I do get it. He did have a very, very large life lead. Um, so in that sort of situation, it is not too bad. Basically trading life to steal your opponent's bar should you win the round. Obviously, you're making that risk of letting them get back into the round, but worked out for Zed this time. Ooh, that sweep is ignorant. The, oh, way, yeah. the two of them when... just hitting it. <laughs> When your own character can't punish your own character's sweep, that's just hilarious. <laughs> yeah, no, no. When you when you put it like that, man, uh, that's a stupid button. Yeah, I'm curious to see the data because I think that is a meaty sweep on back rise. It might be. I think it's minus four, but outrageous. I'm dude. On that. Outrageous. God, Zed's in great position again here. I got Travis running out yeah. of bar here. Oh, spends the cash. Level two. That is burnout as well. Burn That's a full level two. Yeah. And to the corner. Oh. It goes for the reset, but the not reset. all is lost. Oh, no, but he gets burned out himself. Skills the hit, though. Drops the combo. Zed, what? No, of no. course he can get this chip. 
No. However, this is setting him up though for the next round. He could have won the game, the bro. He, got he did Yay. anyway. Wow. Go. I think Zed, wow. Zed is doing some five dimensional calculations. Sometimes you just do it. If it works, hey. it works. The Hazanshu recovers in time, gets the anti air. Game one to Zed. This man is playing the best Street Fighter of his life right now. Yep. I can't fault these decisions. He's doing such an excellent job against Travis as well. The oh, Mirror nice match. float combo, dude. That was sick. Oh. Burn himself out. Securing screen space. Goes for the safe jump. Nice defense from yep. Zed, though. Keeps himself out. And trying to just build as much drive back as he can without having to deal with Zed's pressure. Okay, has that you in? one situation. And yeah. again! See, this is what I was talking about, though, right? Is that he doesn't like he's not looking at his health there. Why? Why take yep. that risk? Travis he's is always going to spill it. It's that. It's that burnout. You, you get that. You know that rabid hunger to keep them in a block string. Yeah, it's like it, it just very consistently just the, the brainstem just kind of disconnects a little bit on that one decision, which for the way that Zed's been playing all day is out of character. That's gonna oh, hurt. Big hop over. Catches the drive rush. And yeah, this is looking more like what we expected out of Travis. With that. Zed finds the opportunity to fight his way out. Not afraid to hit buttons on Wake Up 2, even though Zed it's has been hit punish. by the reversal. But he actually punishes the sweep. Who would have thought? The stars have aligned. That button is ignorant. I'm sorry. I've said that at once already this set, but I just, it just needs to be said. We could nice do an on to all of these buttons. Dash is under. Zed got to make magic happen here, but this one's looking, yeah. This one's looking pretty much over. Game one, or, ga or one game to Travis, rather. The score is one apiece. You can see Zed was having a hard time keeping everything together. If he can't control the pace of the game, it just falls apart. Yeah, 100%. Big delay tech uh, catch. And another one catches a, a delay button. Zed, Reed. finding the pressure. Went for Shimmy again. This time, Travis just holds down back, willing to block. Went for perfect parry. Didn't get it. And now you're getting clapped to the other corner, my man. Oh, oh he fakes that's it. that's expensive. Not quite an optimal punish, but it's still a good chunk of damage. Plus, the corner secured. It's not, this is not looking here. good for Zed. Zed has one situation. Gets the ODDP oh, on the safe jump to beat a, uh, a delay throw. Don't do it again, dude. I... Bro, you're gonna lose the game if you do that to him again. He's just gonna do that to him. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Travis is ready. He just did it again! Bro, what are you he doing? Oh remember, my he, he gets buffed for every uh, uh, consecutive button he presses, and he was on the DI buff this time. Uh, dude, that, uh, that would. That looked like desperation, and you could see Travis was fine tuned on the DI even, uh, even before the jabs started Bro, coming out. His brain just fell out of his damn head at the worst possible time. It's oh. been a long, long day. He, he has played a lot of Street Fighter today. I will, <laughs> I will give full credit. We can't under understate exactly how much is at stake and how much is on the stack. I mean, it's got to be doing its toll. Bro, he's just hitting buttons now, man. It looks like he's sort of... Anything. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Is It looks like he's just trying to find a, a way to make something happen, but... So yeah, far. Travis is just dominating in the neutral. He can't find that hit that he's looking for. Not quite burn up, but Travis might have a setup to drop the rest of the drive gauge. Oh, uh, no delay. Yeah, nothing. yeah or, or a, a setup to win the game, which is just walk forward and block. Yeah. I think he specifically, he specifically used level two to beat uh, meaty, th uh, meaty fireball attempts to stop Travis mm. from breaking out that gauge. So you can see that the cogs were ticking, but... Travis was one step ahead again. Yeah, I, I, I get why, you know, you go for the Hail Mary opportunity there in those sort of situations. You're feeling desperate, but, but it's, to me, like, knowing who Travis is as a player, why would he take that risk? He's not going to take that risk. Mm, it, absolutely. If, if, if you want to fight out there, I think the right choice would be something like Wake Up Jab or, like, Delay Jab or something. Oh, oh this no. is looking like that's all she wrote. Yeah. Has it checked out of the hotel already? It oh, is. that was a clean, perfect there. This is looking like a runaway victory for Travis, and ROF is stoked to see something like yeah. this. 
ROF doing the Mr. Burns hands at his desk right now as he's sitting here watching the stream. Oh, oh, gets the <laughs> Dude. Not a lot of damage, but we take those. Yeah, said looking a little bit desperate now. I think that this yeah, uh, dream. Just, yeah. This dream Travis run of is his. just running through. You can see, it, like, the confidence is just pouring out of him right now. And Zed is just having, having such a hard time finding anything. Yeah, the offense isn't flowing anymore. It was looking. He was looking very comfortable before, and now it's just like, you know, let's just call it what it is, man. He's just getting outplayed right now, and he hasn't been able to figure out a way to get back into the set. Burns out. Can he make it happen? Level okay. three on both players. That could have been it. That can be it. Gonna spend it, and this is gonna give him a good amount of region. He's gonna yeah. need this to fight his way back in. Not gonna be Same dead. situation as before. What is Travis's answer? Oh, oh, get the hit. Not dead. Travis wakes up low four into level three. What a read on the walk back. Genius stuff from Travis. Knows when to press with a big fat read. And that is that. Travis slides into grand finals and books RLF's flights to Capcom Cup. This tournament He's is like, not bro. over. Don't even worry about it. I've booked both of our tickets for us. Damn. You don't. E you don't even have to lift a finger. I got but you, bro. I got it's you. It's not the end of the story yet. We've got a pretty big prize for the winner of this tournament. Yeah. So you can who? Who are the beers gonna be on at Capcom Cup? This is what we find out next. ROF is sitting on the winner's side of Grand Finals, uh, and he is going to be playing against Travis again. And last time these guys played in bracket, ROF won that one three to one. That jury pick ended up costing uh, costing Travis greatly in that first game. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens here and who's going to get the bragging rights and the extra coin to uh, take with them on their trip to the US for the big dance once again. Uh, now, keep in mind, folks, we were discussing this during the break. Uh, the ROF was our previous World Warrior OCE champion for Street Fighter V. So, will he be uh, a repeat champion here across two different games for World Warrior OCE in Australia? We are going to find out very, very soon. We... Once Let's not forget, he joins Travis... The Travis is going to have to take down ROF twice. Absolutely, coming He's in from the losers. Side, twice, gonna, the, twice the lives. It's going to be quite the uh, quite the mission. But I d look, you know, I've um, I've been I, I feel like I repeat this like every time I commentate, but I, I've been I've been lucky enough to watch these guys play a, a billion times uh, over the years, and and it's a very back and forth affair. I feel like they they both have very differing play styles. Um, they get the same results, which is to say that they're good as hell. Um, but the, um, yeah, with Travis being a much more sort of, I don't want to say defensive minded, but but he plays like a more reactionary style, whereas ROF plays a lot more proactive style, where he, like, while a lot of ROF's game is based off of uh, the reads that he makes against his opponent, um, he... Yeah, he, he's much more proactive in his offense, and he forces those. He puts you in situations where you have to make decisions. Uh, and so that's why it's always a good clash to watch these two go. And to those in the chat that have asked, uh, yes, ROF has qualified officially for Capcom Cup. He uh, writes ROF will be traveling across to the US for the big dance alongside Travis Styles. Uh, this has been confirmed, as Travis has already qualified for Capcom Cup. So, uh, congratulations to ROF for qualifying for Capcom Cup by doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> well, no, to, to be fair, to be fair, he did knock Travis down to losers to do his dirty work. So, oh, no, he, did work on, he did work yeah. on that set. No, no, but no. I also, I, yeah. No. <laughs> I also want to give props to Zed because uh, that's some of the best. Um, yeah, best on ground. I've seen best on ground. In, in, the, in the previous set. It's unfortunate he had to play against Travis in the mirror match, but he did pretty well. I, I think he's been my MVP today. 100%. Uh, uh, Christian, shut up, man. You know I'm joking. I just, uh, 
Uh, to, to, to those in the chat that may not know, I've known I've known Christian a million years. I've known Christian a million years, and I'm just talking trash. He's the homie, man. I, I'm super. I'm super. I'm super thrilled for him, dude. Um, I, I uh, like being realistic about it. I don't think anyone deserves this more than he does. He's been the best Street Fighter Six player in the country uh, this year. Uh, you know, winning Battle Arena Melbourne, our first major. I feel like he has won, you know, pound for pound the most tournaments in the country out of anybody else this year. Uh, so he, when you talk about results, man, uh, um, he's got the results. Nobody deserves it more than him. So congratulations like, to the um... homie. I, I am very proud uh, and it's most deserved. These two... I would say, if sorry to cut you off, man, but uh, I would say, oh, you know, if, if you if you're looking at two people that deserve, <laughs> bro, dude, this chat room, man, I say nice <laughs> things about him. Everyone no, no, says, they're... oh, Toby, being rude. And I look at the chat, and they're all telling me to shut up because I'm being nice to him. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, can't win, bro. I can't win, man. Oh, dude, yeah, stop being nice and stop being stop being evil. Jeez, Fuck. brother, I'm I'm a commentator, man. I'm either talking trash on people or I'm saying nice things. It's one or the other. There's no in between. Come on, man. That's uh, not sick. So shout out to these two. Um, yeah, best in region, most deserving. There are, you know, there are, there are other people I think that that would have obviously been very exciting to watch over there, and I think really could use the opportunity to grow as players. Freezer being an excellent example. Oh yes. I think um, I think you'd see a lot of growth from him as a player from an opportunity like that. Um, so hopefully when we're looking at this, uh, we're in this position next year, should we be lucky enough to get the opportunity to, um, we actually, dude, join the lobby. I was sitting in the chat talking about how he's going to Capcom Cup and he's not joining the lobby, man, please. Um, but, but he's yeah, en Frieza, he's enjoying, he's enjoying you lifting his sails. Uh, he's the just going to take up all of this momentum. The games, the games just giving him grief. Okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I hope to see, you know, should we get the privilege to run this again next year? I really hope to see Freezer in a position where he can get that little yeah. bit further in bracket. Um, as I think that that's someone that could really use the, the learning experience from going to a place like Capcom Cup. Uh, obviously, these guys, you know. I mean, that's going to be a full year away. The architecture for the game is going to be a complete shift. So, I mean, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. guaranteed we're going to see, we're going to see a, a shuffle up. But for now, here we go. We've got yeah, two enough of qualifiers. That. This is grand and finals then... for World Warrior OCP between Rise ROF and Travis Styles. Buffering mid screen. Yep, absolutely. That's buffering, man. Yeah, he's buffering. I, oh, dude, please. Oh, man. I understand that he's probably very excited, so we got to take that into account. But. This is still a tournament set, and there is a lot of money on the line here, so I'm sure that these two are going to both give it their all. There is a difference of uh, 1.7k USD, so maybe we'll yes. see. Maybe we'll see some serious action. I, I, I think. Look, Travis, the ROF does actually have a whole set to literally throw away if he so desires. Uh, I really hope that he doesn't, but. I also know him very well, and it wouldn't blame me if he. Yeah. It wouldn't uh, surprise me if he did. These guys have historically swapped mains for a grand final, right? That's these yeah, guys. yeah. I've seen these two both pick Ryu in grand finals before. Um, <laughs> oh, Ryu mirrors so, as well. Yeah, I've seen the Ryu mirrors before, and I tell you what, <laughs> this is this is the region's fault for letting this happen. All right, we're gonna have yeah. to toughen up. We can't be letting these guys, you know, run their degeneracy in grand finals. All right. Do right, we have a match? Like, uh, yeah, it looks like he's woken up a little bit now. So he's he's we, uh, scuffing the shoes, the slips. All right, last frames here. Goes to the DI. Doesn't work out. Parry from Travis. Gets out of the corner. Yep, the sneaky. The, the only thing in the game that has uh, proximity block, to my knowledge, the down forward heavy kick. Dastardly. I, I, I doubt that. I think Arlef is probably going to... Uh, <laughs> the excitement is now gone. And he's realized that there is, like you said, one one thousand seven hundred US dollars on the line, so he is going to be uh, threat taking it to his pocket. Seriously. Yeah. Last frames again. Oof. Ah, nice conversion. Yeah, it looks like he's woken up now, folks. Serious mode. And that nice same style uh, Travis has been leaning on where he backs off to let his opponent overextend is not gonna be as effective against JP. Oh baits right. the ODDP. Can't punish Safe that. No, absolutely sweet. not. Damn, it must feel bad, huh? 
Not being able to punish a sweep? Damn, poor Chun, dude. You know what's also gnarly? The, the overhead that almost mirrors the box on birdie as well. It just feels like it has that same length. Yeah, I know. 100%. See why I picked this character. Nice conversion, dude. That was very clean. Full screen up the between crystal. them now. Yep. Travis is just not getting anything going. There nice. we go. Nice. Very clean. Very, very clean. Takes the throw. Oh, man. Nice. Guessing completely right. One situation away. Travis has done a very, very good job of mixing the stance in as an actual mix-up option uh, on offense mm. a variety of times this tournament. Uh, we saw against ROF on the winner's side in winner's finals when he went for that sort of uh, stance fake into the Hazanshu, um, which was yeah, sick. It's it's the threat of the real stuff, right? Because the stance has a lot of frames on the start of the recovery, but when you when you threaten that that meaty uh, the meaty buttons, all of a sudden there's hesitation, and that's where you get those big reads. Yeah, absolutely. It's um, Travis did a very good job of mixing those options in. That's gonna hurt though. Spend the cash, abs, so bloody lootly. Pulls up that bar too. Yeah. That's a big chunk halfway. Oh my god, and the damage too. Yeah, you know, during the uh, the level 3, if they're technically on the ground, they recover faster drive. You know uh, JP's feet were firmly planted that whole time? Yeah, of course, yeah. So they get that extra bit of meter. Yeah. <sighs> Chun-Li is airborne for a bit of it. Yeah, some characters are just not built evenly. Oh, <laughs> speaking oh. of not built evenly, big damage on this OD Amnesia oh, read on the bro. throw. <laughs> And out too. Oh boy, you love to see it. Nice timing on the DI too. ROF's working up here. Game on the board. Very, very clean stuff. Yeah, maybe maybe the earlier rounds were just a bit of confidence coming out of ROF. Partying hard and then here we go, going to work. Alright. Next game, but <laughs> I think the two of them didn't realize that they'd started yet for a second then. Uh, <laughs> Are they uh, smack talking on the Discord or what's going on? It honestly wouldn't surprise me if they're both in a call together at this point. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, gotta you gotta, yeah, well, you gotta remember that these two are both competitors. That, that's how they're in the position where they, you know, have qualified for Capcom Cup multiple times now, is that they both want to win and neither of them wants to lose. You know, in this sort of situation, ROF doesn't want to qualify for Capcom Cup by coming second, you know? Yeah. Not that that, you know, tarnishes his accomplishment at all whatsoever, but it's a pride thing, right? Nice reversal super there from Travis getting that round on the board there. Looking to go up two to one to reset the bracket. Pressure. Damn, man. Nice little string there. Very clean, going low. Something I haven't seen very much from uh, any JPs, actually, at least in this region. And he's already bullied blowing. out the burnout, too. That was quick, like really quick. Yeah, I mean, you spend the three bars yourself, but when you block so much of JP's pressure, it does an incredible amount of drive damage. Nice hit confirm, Travis, man. Using it to reset space, get his meter back, does so, has the corner. A lot of bar to work with here. Definitely a winnable round for Travis here to take the lead. Keeping the corner locked, not giving ROF an opportunity to break out. with it's just a lot of resources on both no one wants to overextend level two forcing yeah. a guess oh nice defensive choice there from travis just going for the drive reversal something that you don't see too often there against the level two when people do have the meter for it gets the perfect parry not level gonna be two able to kill here well, potentially almost had it didn't quite yeah. patience from travis looking for a parry option here on the ghost gets clipped by the overhead though Ooh, beautiful oh, beautiful whiff punish. Drive straight through. Beautiful whiff punish. Very nicely done. 2 1 lead now in this first set here for Travis Styles. Who is going to be the champion of World Warrior OCE? Yep, big reversal out the gate. Travis not letting ROF have it easy. Nice whiff punish. Travis burned himself out in the process, though. It's a good chunk of damage, but. 
needs to keep this pro this pressure going, otherwise it all could fall apart. I've noticed he's been burning himself very quickly into the round, but he still has a massive life lead, so he's gonna get those six bars back. And now he's gonna have a huge meter advantage over ROF and could possibly close it out. I see the ESK Kosho to gain some screen space there. Patience here from the two of them. This is a very important round in the scheme of this set. Jumps in. He's fakes, yeah. Just threatening, threatening the ghosts. Oh, they both oh, tried to that. DR, but ROF was first. Waltz is at him, gets the throw. Is anybody's round though? In a way. Oh, that's it again. Travis capitalizing on these crouch medium picks. Mm. Just closing catching, the rounds out. Catching ROF trying to walk back. Trying to get away, create space. Doing these sort of stagger strings with the crouching medium kicks, using it as a whip punish as well. Up and still takes the throw. Yeah, Travis is just running a train with this offense right now. Yeah, looking incredibly confident. Does uh, have a serious drive bar issue though. So that's why you see him playing a little bit more placid now. Oh, <laughs> just the command throw, but unfortunately didn't get the follow up. Oh, and look at the damage that he's taking here off of a small mistake from an excellent read. Burns out, oh. and JP now has three bars to work with. You, got, you bet your bottom dollar, the OD portal's coming out. This might as well be a, a checkmate situation here just about. I don't know what Travis does here to get back into this round. He's just going to have to hold out, take this chip, get the six bars, fight back from that position. Ah, there we go again. The OD Kokosho to break through the spikes. Yeah, using it to create space. Oh, that was disrespectful, dude. Come on, man. That is dastardly. That is good, though. I mean, when you're conditioned to delay tech or even block, uh, when you see the drive rush flash, threatening that command throw, man, this is the best grappler in the game. Disgusting. Nice, Antia. Speaking of, look at this conversion. Goes for the Midi Kokosho, but it whips. Weird little it, drop oh, there. He was expecting the, uh, the back tech, actually. Yep. And um, it's very smart to threaten both techs, because even though uh, short tech does leave you closer, sometimes it can throw off the setups. Travis, big lead now. Yeah, big Put himself in burnout though, but let's see what he's got here. Uh-oh. He's got out. trouble. This is definitely possible here. Gonna have to sacrifice position. some life to get that bar back. Oh, Good my anti is again. Just sat there waiting for him. This is a reset point here now for Travis. So if he gets the hit, which he does on the DI, Travis resets the bracket. We are now jumping into a fresh first of three, folks. This is the last dance for the World Warrior OCE title between these two. Who's going to take it? Will it be Travis Styles? Coming to rain on ROF's parade, who has already yep. qualified for a <laughs> Capcom Cup to those that have just joined us. Uh, ROF, due to the fact that Travis has already qualified through that CPT online event, will be joining Travis Styles at Capcom Cup this year. Or not this year, this season, rather. Uh, so this is about the money that the two of them are fighting for here. Uh, and Travis looking to make magic happen and get some coin here and just spoil ROF's fun in general. And I mean, winning, what, back-to-back -back Capcom Cup qualifiers, that's got to put Travis in a, in a, in a good mindset oh, yeah. going into Capcom oh, yeah, Cup bro. as well. Yeah, 100%. It, you, like, like, at the end of the day, uh, if you win both, how could anyone dispute that you are best in region? Let's be real, right? You yep. won both. You only needed to win one and you won both. <laughs> like, it doesn't you know, get... You entered the tournaments, you got yeah. your positioning, and then you won the big final with mm -hmm. eight other, sh uh, seven other sharks in the tank with you. Yeah, one hundred percent. It's um, it, it's it'll it'll be interesting to see how we go here, and it'll be interesting to see what we're waiting for. As it looks like Travis was queued up to go, but has just left. Has the lobby booted him out? Um, I don't know what he's doing. I don't see anything in the Discord either. He's uh, just just sitting there. There we go. All right, he's going now. Thank you very much, gentlemen.
This will be our final first of three of the evening, folks. Uh, just a friendly reminder, we are, yeah, going to be going through one more set in World Warrior OCE 2023 before we wrap it up for the season. So don't go anywhere if you want to see the best of the best Street Fighter in this last one here. This is your true finals here. Both players in loser's bracket after Travis Styles reset in their last first of three. Who will be winning the World Warrior OCE series? Setting up an early double portal. Big spend from ROF doesn't get anything out of it. A little bit of corner. And we've seen Travis fight out of the corner so well. Yeah, just finds his spot. Yeah, here we go. Utilizing does um just Chun's super super strong light and medium punch. Uh, pretty much her two best buttons just about in this game. Obviously that crashing medium kick is juiced as well, but uh, they are some incredible options there. Nah, nice. jump for the throw. Excellent counter. Oh, nice yeah, that's... wall forward overhead. Very clean. Hard position to fight back from. Oh, oh scuffing the shoes again. A oh. command grab. Yeah, I mean, you're looking for a million options. The command grab is looking realer and realer the more he does it. Yeah, that JP command grab is uh, it, it's very disrespectful. And I mean, I was very, very good at, at mixing those sort of slower form command grabs in to an offense plan. We used to see it. He was pretty much the best in the business at landing those Bull Revenger command grabs with birdies. So it's directly translated to JP here, as weird as it sounds. Backs up. Backs up. No, oh, perfect space for it to fade off. This is going to be a big amount of damage for Travis and a setup as well. Yeah, safe jump set up there. Good corner control. Has just maintained the pressure through this burnout, so it ended up being pretty inconsequential. Looking for the toes. He's lost a few rounds to Travis's crouch medium kick, and he's a bit, a bit hesitant to it this time. Oh, Sets activates the level two. Is Travis going to go for the... Yes, he does. He nice jump it. forward. Great read from ROF. Recognized Travis' defensive choice last time. Mixes up his offense. Catches him with the read. Very clean stuff. Perfect counter. ROF. And I like, the, uh, I like the setup as well. Going for the guaranteed chip. ROF taking game one in this true final set here between these two. Big parry. Expensive parry. Using the drive rush on the crouch medium kick. Uh, dash back into parry seems to be Travis's go-to. Yeah, just try to create space and just not have to worry about the projectile there. Get away from JP so we can't really threat with it or be a threat with it. This is sort of a trend here. Travis fighting out of burnout. Just trying to buy as much time as he can before that meter recovers. Goodness, the ghosts are coming out. Nice, it's confirmed. Need up to show. Yep, very nice. Travis doing his best to safely keep that corner. Just one knockdown away from having uh, JP on his back, back to the wall, and just maintaining that space. Yeah, not overpressing at all, not overextending, has no reason to. Just sitting on his life lead and controlling space with these really good quality buttons, the Kokoshos, not letting ROF set up that offense with the Ghosts and the really strong buttons. Massive life lead, 16 seconds, I mean, I'm pretty sure Travis could just hold back now and he'd be perfectly fine. Yeah, pretty much, and I think ROF has realized that, and now <laughs> he's just trying to build bar, it looks he's like, yeah. yeah. He's maxed out now, so there's no point in continuing. Oh, he wants to give Travis the bar. Damn. Damn. Time out. out victory, yeah. That's, I think, the only timeout we've had today. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, very, very rare occasion uh, in Street Fighter 6, that's for sure. Oh, what a read on the DI. Uh, no. Level 3, he's not going to let you recover that bar. You're going to have to deal with all of this. And he gets the setup as well. What is he going to do? Wow. Stand heavy punch. Stand heavy punch and the vibe check from ROF trades. Nice here, confirm. Gonna go for burnout here. Quiet. 
gets the stun. <laughs> yeah, Travis is just running a train. Shout out to Chakote, by the way, for the big fat raid. Really appreciate you coming through. To watch the tail end of this World Warrior OCE, we are in the uh, true finals now. Uh, the score is one apiece, so Riot's ROF has qualified for Capcom Cup through Travis getting into grand finals as Travis has already qualified himself through the CPT online. This is just about the money at this money. point between these two, which is a lot of money, especially yep. for two guys going a very long way to Capcom Cup. It will make a massive difference in their trip over there. Jump over. Yeah, catches the juggle too. D misses the spike, unfortunate. Burn out no, on this is side. unusual. Yeah, ROF hasn't been burnt out before uh, Travis this time. Oh boy, nice costly read. tiger combo. Travis has been going for these like uh, these uh, like defensive option DIs at these really interesting times, and he's like two or two of three for three on them through this set so far. Has he's very specifically now, trying to catch something, and he's finding the spots. Perfectly. Yeah, his autopilot strings. However, what he's catching right now is a big purple ghost straight to the dome piece. And now he's catching a level two and he's just got to hold all of this. Yeah. Almost got out scot free. The chip racking up. He's baiting out that level one. Now, Travis, oh, unfortunately, eats the overhead just as he recovers. ROF turning it back on. Not going to go so easily. Let me qualify myself. Great start from Travis here too. This is a very important game, this one here. Taking the lead in the set. So, don't want to see anyone fall behind to a uh, 1-2 situation here in Grand Finals. Wow, the bust out on the autopilot string! Yeah. Travis has just been picking these gaps with the options that he has available. This time a level 3 as he was burned out. And you can see now, that the two of them is now. going to want to set up level 2 in some way. You can see him trying to bully his way in without even setting up. Just walking forward with that menacing pace. Yeah, now that uh, Travis has gotten his meter back, though, it's not quite as large of a priority. Nice conversion. That was like max range, dude. <laughs> Travis <laughs> Styles, man. That was clean. Who's going to take the lead in this final set here? Could definitely go either way. Ooh, bold walk up throw. I think ROF now just going to take it to Travis. Doesn't want to do the setup game. Oh, oh a nice DI. reaction. That was about as late as it possibly could have been. Early level one to try and force the burnout. Unfortunately gets caught on the fireball into the level three. ROF recovering a ton of drive and getting the situation here as well. Dash up, gets gets the the is that going to be enough? No, nah, he's got no meter not for it. Be, but it's a bad That's a situation. Demanding position. Yeah. How does Travis be looking up. make something happen here? As aren't you in plus frames? Here we go. Stagger offense, good defense. No, I lost. But he's pushing himself out in the process. Overhead. Go to the block string. Oh, F responds <laughs> with the cheeky little overhead. Takes the lead in the set two to one. This could be the final game of World Warrior OCE, folks. ROF oh. is on the verge of taking this tournament and being the two time World Warrior OCE champion. I'm not sure if there's many people in the world that have um, won both of their World Warrior series. The way Travis has been bullying ROF, he's baited these ODM ninjas out with just the right buttons to be able to create a defense as well. It's just, ROF is just having such a hard time getting him off. Now we burn up, but a huge life deficit. Yeah, leaning on that zoning here, just getting the chip. Massive amounts of chip for ROF. Wow, random DI. Doesn't quite work out because Travis was holding north. She was the hit. Looking to force a final game five here for World Warrior OC. ROF obviously wants to take his money and run, so let's see if he can get this game <laughs> out of the jaws of defeat. It's not looking good, man. Travis is just finding his opportunities. The amount of these stray hits he's managed to convert, it's it's stacking up. You can see it's sort of like ROF is losing his patience with the uh, with the zoning game. He's just walking in. 
And he's walking into these fists too. Yeah, he's kind of getting buddied right now. It's going to be big damage. Good opportunity for Travis to get some bar back as well. Is he dead? Not quite. Level three, last time he used them. This time he's holding it. Yeah, just back up on a pixel here. There's no reason for Travis to overextend at all here. I would say, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. the timing Excellent. on the EX Kokosho. In this game, your OD moves just break through and the, the Chun-Li OD Kokosho is actually really fast too. It's like a laser beam. So even though it was full screen, had, had enough time to punish the spike. Yeah, yeah, on the trade there, just enough time to get it out. And then uh, secures the hit. And now Travis cooking up here in this final game five of the series of the season. Travis offense too strong. Ah, oh. oh, gets the overhead as well. Catches him with the mix. Look, he missed his ender there, but it's all right. Got a massive life lead here. Oh, we're gonna try and. Yeah, no, he's that, just gonna get said, scooped, bro. You said last time that's an option select. I'm beginning to believe you. He's scooped every single portal teleport so far. Wow, bust out. Travis has had enough. I got places to be and money to have. 100%. Ari as well. Man, ROF is struggling to find a hit. Meanwhile, Travis is just doing a combo video. Alright, this is this ender with this much resources. Here we go into burnout again, but it's alright, because all this pressure is going to keep going. Oh, ROF finds the perfect opportunity. Got to make this count. Is there going to be a reset here? I would say just take the damage here into the Oki situation. Yeah, there it is. This is going to be big time mix. Good defense from Travis, though. Gets out. Pretty Travis much got free. But now he's Beautiful burned out. defense. But, I mean, ROF is going to have to make something happen. Otherwise, Travis is going to come back with a full six bars. And that's looking to be the case here. Yeah, it gets his meter back now. This is all of a sudden looking much better for Travis, who is on tournament point here. But he threw it all away in a matter of seconds. Good go, bud. They're both throwing anything they can. Yeah, the stakes are on the, a lot of stakes on the line here. A lot of money could be exchanged, depending on the next couple of button presses. They're both burned out. Plus Block brains. strings. Goes low. Doesn't hit confirm, though. Oh. Can he hit jabs? Nothing. Oh, he's recovered. Oh, well. He can't be chipped. This is a disaster, no, 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 stays alive, he spent absolutely everything to do it, but he stays alive, one more round folks, the final final round of World Warrior OCE, it wouldn't be OCE Street Fighter if it wasn't an absolute nail biter till the very end. Yeah, these dudes are getting sweaty, alright, last match. And I mean, Travis has a lot to work with here. Yeah, big meter advantage, however. Oh, we've done a very good job of wearing down the drive gauge early. Oh, Anti air nice. gonna cap, yep. This is gonna be so much damage. Yes, third head in the combo. Whoa, 50%. Bro, look at that. All of a sudden, everything looking sunny for Travis. Arrowwiff blowing the meter, trying to make an opportunity happen. Travis, chilling right now, big lead. Oh, no reversal GI, wasn't ready for it. Oh, uh, we're trying to press here, make something out of this life disadvantage. Manages to burn Travis out. Got the two oh, bars yeah. too, so you know he wants to set up that level oh, two. Gets a bit of hit. damage here. Is he gonna go for the, yes he is. Very Absolutely. smart choice he's here. Find his million too. No, he's just gonna, go slow. Not dead though, can't extend. So this one could go either way. Vibe check from oh. Travis. Gets out of the corner. This couldn't Travis be any recovers. closer, folks. It's couldn't be any closer. It's the jump in there. Oh, and, and he takes he just, it. He just built the drive back for that conversion as well. ROF is your World Warrior OCE 2023 champion. Riot's ROF repeats his victory of the World Warrior series and reclaims his throne as the king. All the while qualifying for Capcom Cup once again. Congratulations to ROF on a big, big win. What a huge effort by the Melbourne man.
Very, very nicely done. Good to see that no matter what happens in OCE Street Fighter, Melbourne will always be number one. Uh, no, congratulations to uh, both ROF and Travis, who are our repeat representatives for Capcom Cup in 2023. Uh, they've done an excellent job of representing our region in the past, and I'm sure that they will do so again uh, at the end of this season when they all meet in America for the big dance. Um, again, congratulations to the two of them. Very, very well played, uh, making us all proud and will continue to make us proud uh, on the biggest Street Fighter stage in the world. So massive, massive effort from them. And now I believe, folks, if you're going anywhere, uh, please don't. We're going to quickly interview both ROF and Travis. We are just going to jump them into the call here to have a chat to them about what it feels like to qualify for the first ever Capcom Cup for Street Fighter VI. Uh, what it feels like to, you know, be two ex-teammates that um, still find themselves competing as brothers in arms no matter what happens. I think ROF is currently uh, shaking off the nerves, but they will be coming in in a moment uh, to join us. Just have a quick chat. About how it feels to go to Capcom Cup because uh, not many people will, uh, not many people will uh, get that feeling. So it's a good excuse or opportunity to learn a little bit about the. There's going to be so yeah. many top players there. I mean, even just being able to play sets against the higher ups. I feel like last time they went, they powered up. You know, it feels like a big spike in uh, 100%. Just experience. Uh, and then, of course, the opportunity to do some damage. I couldn't pick two better players. Uh, to represent us as well, so I'm hoping they, they make a 100%. massive splash. Absolutely. Um, you know, uh, massive personalities, massive characters, um, very, very beloved within the global community after their first representation of our region where they both uh, almost made it out of the group stage. I think the two of them were both like a game off from memory. Yes. Um, so it was, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing you know, with that extra experience, with that little bit of extra time to really uh, learn how to stay composed on the biggest stages. Um, although, fair this time around in a whole new game where they feel a whole lot stronger. Uh, which is waiting on ROF to join the call now. And uh, while we do, I'm going to quickly run through our final placings for the end of the world warrior circuit of course uh riots rof takes it on the winner's side or from the winner's side after the reset in grand finals travis styles coming in in second place uh congratulations to zed as well for a awesome awesome third place coming from losers round one making it all the way through the bracket in, in an absolutely monstrous fashion. That's the best I've ever seen in Play Street Fighter 6. Yeah. Uh, and, and it was very, very MVP. impressive. Yep, 100%. Best on ground was Zed today. He earned his place in third, defeating Zazob, Panda, and Frieza to get to that position. Which, speaking of, Frieza, the people's champ on the Honda, coming in in fourth place as well. Uh, and then, of course, rounding out the remaining of our top eight, we've got Blackout, uh, Zazob, both the NZ representatives. Congratulations to them for an awesome season. Uh, it's good to see NZ representing strong in their first opportunity to qualify for World Warrior through, uh, yeah, well, through the World Warrior program. And then, of course, uh, yeah, Panda and Cemetery Gates, uh, both. Two very, very strong players that uh, were well represented in Street Fighter V. It's good to see them back in six, and I'm looking forward to seeing all of these gamers back for the next World Warrior OCA, should we be ever so lucky enough to host one of these. You know, uh, mm. we've only, we only saw the, the, the best eight players from this league, but we had 100-man brackets at one point, and it's yep. just so good to see uh, such a big representation, especially now that we can play uh, from New Zealand to Australia a lot more effectively. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like the player pool has gotten so much wider, uh, and it's good to see everybody just playing a ton and enjoying 100%. it too. Street Fighter Six has been such a such a killer game for the last few months. Uh, I'm, I'm if this I wasn't commentating, one. I would have I would have answered two. I actually answered the first two, yep. but I got uh, I got Stone Cold slapped by Frieza, which I can't really I can't be <laughs> mad at. <laughs> yeah, that matchup sucks, bro. You got no S. You got no S. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, no, it's, uh, yeah, like, and that's the thing, is that we have so many competitors that, that I think are worthy of that Capcom, uh, Capcom Cup slot that we haven't even seen in this top eight. 
You know, whether it be I mean, uh, players... T TB. I mean, Ghost Chips will be most likely making yep. his return next year as well, I believe. Uh, um, I feel you know... like some players just cook a bit slower, you know? They, they got that mm -hmm. slow build-up, so, sort of a la Daigo. So, you know, yep. like this is just the first year. There's a lot of steam, a lot of momentum, but you're going to see that round out, uh, especially coming into the next few years. And of course, there's going to be some balance patches if you're, if you're salty about, you know, seeing too many of the same character. But... Yeah, like, I'm just glad we're getting so many people jumping in, and I'd love it to see see the same same momentum carry on to next year. Yeah, it's... I'm um, sure as hell, Shen is definitely going to be running more of these, right? Yeah, oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's going to be... Um, well, look, as long as Street Fighter exists, uh, Anga will exist in some capacities. So, uh, but enough of that, as we need to have a chat to our World Warrior OCE oh, champion. That would be Riot's ROF. Can you hear me, mate? Can you hear me? <laughs> oh, okay. I can hear oh. now. I changed the setting. You can hear? Can hear? There yeah. he is. Congratulations, brother. Congratulations. Let's go, baby! Woo! Feeling good? Feeling good? How do you... Um, uh, look, going through winners today, um, we, we talked a little bit about it uh, earlier in the tournament. There are a couple of those later Will Warrior brackets where I feel like you didn't quite place as well as I know that you would hold yourself to. Uh, was there any kind of adjustment, extra practice, anything like that, or did you just back yourself and jump in? Oh, first off, I just want to say that was a good grand finals, I reckon. I think that mm -hmm. was yep. well played. Yep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're still uh, overwhelmed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, of course, man. I think, the, I think the biggest thing is I have to give them like the biggest amount of props to Travis yeah of course um because when I was losing a lot I I would I would always like DM me and be like hey what the like what am I doing like what do I need to do and he really gave me some really really solid advice yeah and it worked mm. and um yeah it, we, we always you know we, we always look at each other we're always going to be like really good friends and um yeah, I just appreciate that he's a good friend of mine. He's a good teammate because without, I guess, uh, without his advice, like without him, like really helping me, like when I when I felt like I needed it, uh, yeah, he, yeah, th things could have gone differently. So, uh, just shout outs to, to Travis Styles, man. Yeah, of course. That's been yeah, that's been oh. your boy for for quite a number of years. You know, I remember back like five, six, seven years ago. Um, you guys were both on uh, MGC when we were in Adelaide, and. Um, that 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 uh, camaraderie's been there for for yeah al almost over well over half a decade now, right? So, I, I guess um, on that to ask a little bit more about that is you know how does it feel to get to go to Capcom Cup again with him? Like like, like talk to me through the, the emotions of the two of you both achieving in the exact same like because the thing is that it's a different game, man, right? Like it could go any way. It's a completely different game to last year when uh, you can you qualified in the same way. How does it feel to see the two of you do it again in such a different format of game? Oh, it's uh, like from re from the release of this game till now, like it's it's just been an up and down journey. Like I've mm. I've loved it, I've hated it. Hmm. Uh, maybe, actually, I'll change that. I I loved it and I hate it. Um. So, this is the true timeline. I'm gonna say this is the true timeline. <laughs> this is how it should be. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, we, I agree. We, we've been at the top for the game for literally since the like since the inception of Street Fighter Five. Mm -hmm. Um. Now we're at the top of Street Fighter Six, and it's just good that we're we're able to adapt and be able to um really figure out how to play this game efficiently and effectively yep. and I feel like having him in my corner that's going to help me a lot and I and and he, I I know he feels the same way because he he also hits me up for advice as well on on some particular kind of matchups that he's not quite fond of so yeah 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 it's cool. just uh, it's just it, this is the real timeline this is the true timeline this is how it should be this is how it should always be that's what I'll say yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Castle, you're jealous that I can actually kiss him, but you can't. So yeah, hold that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you two are so stupid. So you two um, got any plans to prepare for Capcom Cup? I mean, hmm. you've got a couple of months, I think, before before the playoffs. What's the plan? I'm gonna take a nice long break from the game. <laughs> yeah, I respect that. I respect that. Uh, 
sort of what I did with uh, with with uh, with five when I won that World Warrior. I took a bit of a mm -hmm. break from playing because, yeah, man, did, compared to five, this game, you, you, when you when you play like yeah. a lot of matches, it is goddamn stressful. And mm. this is um, this is one of the games that feel like because the mental stack is so high, like you need that break. It's kind of like you're training and then all of a sudden you got all that tear on your mind and you're just like, okay, no, this ain't gonna work. I'm getting too cooked. Yeah, yeah, like your eyes start to fizzle out, your vision becomes a blur, you start to lose hydration. You're like, damn, where am I? <laughs> uh, but yeah, after the break, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll be uh, drafting up some nice word documents on Ooh. on how we should approach certain players and see what we can do and when we get mm. there obviously we'll practice as well and yeah we'll just see what we can do with the game with how much we can with how much skill and how much we can learn from it so mm. yeah uh I, I wanted to quickly ask like in in you two obviously you know you were the top of the mountain previous game here we are again in the same position how does the how does the layout of of the players like, because, you know, there's players that were, you know, you'd expect to see in a World Warrior Finals that aren't there for whatever reason, you know, taking a break, doing other things, life stuff, things like that. In terms of the, the, the level of play, do you think that, that it's it's growing rapidly alongside you guys, like you and Travis? Like, do you think that, that it's, um, you've, you've, like, do you think that you've been pushed as hard or harder in this game than you did in five? Hmm. Um... Good question. I don't. I don't. Uh, I, I think it's similar. I don't think it's mm. changed much. Yep. Uh, but the system mechanics of the game allows players to become better than yeah. they were in five. Now I don't know if people would agree with me on in that regard, but uh, you know where there is a reason why there's an exclamation mark Tom uh, <laughs> in, in in the chat because you know this character man. So there's there's, there's mechanics. There's characters that that allow players to perform a lot stronger than they would. So you have to be ready for that. Um, so it's just sort of more so just uh, really just understanding how you can tackle and, and and make sure that they can't really run their game plan because uh, this game goes up and down quite quite quickly. Oh, you, know, yeah. you could be winning and five seconds later you, you're nearly about to lose the round so we mm. saw that like a handful of times in the grand finals alone yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it was fun because what I honestly whenever I play Travis it's like there's a there's always like a I, I, I when his decision making is so is so smart mm -hmm. so it's just more like a, damn that was good kind of reaction that I get compared to like other sets where I go, damn, what the hell, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so always, always playing him in like any kind of uh, setting, it's always fun and it's always like a learning experience. But yeah, I, th I feel like um, with the release game as well, people need to catch up. Mm -hmm. So, and also people are gonna do things that are probably not beneficial, or probably not good in the long run. So I feel like when this, when this, I, I, I hope when this game, when this game develops over time, um, it will allow them more consistent and more uh, better players to stay there and and because it would just reward their hard work um yep. so same thing with five compared to the release and compared to the end of the game you, you 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 sort of saw how like the stronger players just stood the test of time and i really hope this does like the, the same thing and the mechanics don't really take it over and allow it for uh that kind of thing to happen no makes sense makes sense um look we'll uh we'll leave we'll, we'll uh give you one more question before we let you go to go celebrate properly and bro, unwind as, and as many as you want bro i'm fuck i mean whoop i'm, I'm happy <laughs> <laughs> can't help yourself man i know you too well uh well i was you just go. gonna ask man um what uh is there any specific now that you've I, I, like obviously it's hard to know when you're not 100 percent qualified but out of the people that have qualified so far is there anyone specifically that you really want to play um I don't know the entire list of who's qualified. Um, yeah. Ooh. Uh, is Takeda win? No, he's not. No, okay. I, believe so, no. I don't think he is. Oh, uh, uh, Angry Bird. Yeah. 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 So, uh, but also getting his feedback on how busted JP is. JP is. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. just gonna be yeah. yeah. just bickering. Oh, yeah, yeah. That'll, be, that'll, that'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. That, probably, probably him from what I know. Yeah, but from mm. someone who isn't in, 
Um, I really wanted I really wanted to play uh, Yamaguchi from Shinobism. He made grand finals at uh, I think it yes. was I don't know if it was CBT or World Warrior, but he made grand finals. I was really rooting for him to play because was, he, uh, was that the DJ? Yeah, yeah, he's from Shinobism. He, he was he was grand finals against Fudo yesterday, right? Yeah, yesterday. The, yeah, I think, I think it was yesterday. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that. Yeah, he was. <laughs> it was kind of like seeing the the mirror match with Travis and Zed. It's like. He was kicking ass until until he fought the sensei, and then it was like, oh no, Fudo. Yeah. yeah, yeah, unfortunate. Because he's like, a, we we actually play a lot of sets. We actually, um, ah uh, yeah, play a decent amount of sets, and I'll hit him up, and he'll you know he'll give me some pointers and some tips as well. So he's a he's a really good like uh, international friend and player that I'd probably want to play in Capcom Cup just to see who's the better person That's in that awesome. kind of scenario. But he didn't make it unfortunately. So hopefully he can win. I think it's World War. I don't know. They have one more tournament, so hopefully he can make it yeah. in the next one. Um, well, I guess uh, before we wrap this one up, my man, um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna leave the, the mic open to you. Uh, any any you know parting words, thoughts, just just things that you want to talk about. Say to the people at home, talk about your competitors, whatever it is, man. You just let it rip. Okay, shout outs to uh, Riot Gaming uh, mm -hmm. for still sponsoring um, FGC. You know, mm -hmm. really, really really appreciate that like they really they really don't have to and and dale's a, a rocker of a, of a of a team manager so much love to dale and shout outs to that team yeah. um shout outs to my my family for mm -hmm. always supporting me when i do these things my dad was watching uh yeah, in the yeah, background that's dope. that's dope um and when he's when he shouted he's like what the f what <laughs> when I, <laughs> I shouted when i won, when i shouted when i won one of the sets you know as you probably know yeah, and he's just like, oh, oh okay, I thought something happened. No, no, keep shouting. He's like, shout louder, shout louder. I'm like, all right, all right, yeah, I got it, I got it. That's um, fine. Yeah, so Love shout out to, to the family. Um, shout out to Shen and Unger for running this. Um, mm. Shen's a good friend, a good TO, and a good uh, organizational person on, 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 on running Unger. So much love to Shen, appreciate you, buddy. Uh, shout out to all the fans, supporters, I guess. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, and the greatest teammate ever, Travis Styles. Shout out to him, because as he said to me, and as I'll say to him, he's the best teammate I could ever ask for. Yeah, 100%. Absolutely. And that's uh, proofs in the pudding. The two of you are uh, going to Capcom Cup once again. Uh, one more congratulations, man, for a massive effort. Uh, as, as a long time friend of yours, uh, it always makes me very happy to see you succeed. Uh, and that's the last compliment you'll get from me today because I've been far too polite to you. Uh, no, no, but um, but uh, love you to bits, man. And yeah, we're all we're all very proud of you, and we're all looking forward to getting to see you kick some ass uh, on the biggest stage of Street Fighter in the world once again. But that's gonna be it, man. That's gonna be it. Uh, world Warrior OCE 2023 is done. The team at Unger, again, like you said, shout outs, massive shout outs to Shen. Uh, I want to give a quick shout outs to uh, Castle as well, who's jumped off comms. He was awesome today. Uh, shout outs to Tim, who's been on the ones and twos the entire season. Tim is the hero mm -hmm. that nobody sees, the hardest worker Never in the building. Him. Yep. He's in the background doing his work. Absolutely. Um, shout out to. to yeah, but thanks, man. I thanks for running comms on that grand final set. Appreciate it. Always, always, man. I would never miss it. I would never miss it. Um, shout out to Nth Polygon as well for handling our beautiful overlays that you can see that we got the refresher of coming into World Warrior this year as well. Um, Millie on the socials. Uh, it, there's so many people to go through. Unga is for the community, by the community. And uh, this is a product that we make because we love the people that enter them and we want to make the best things possible for the people that sign up. And I feel like we've done that this year. Um, so, so to everybody uh, that signs up and joins, you're the reason that we do what we do. And to everybody that's in Unga, I hope that we're all as proud of the product that we've made as I am. Because uh, it kicks ass to get to do this every year. It's really, really cool. Dinkos. Yeah, let's go, baby Unga. Capcom Cup, we ready. <laughs> Dinkos, my man, you got any more to sign off? What do you reckon we're done? No, I'm good. I'm good. You guys are good. Choo choo. <laughs> All right. Well, my name's Tom Scott. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Always is a privilege as well. Uh, thank you so much to everybody for watching World Warrior OCE. I will talk to you guys soon, I'm sure. Until then, stay sweet. Keep playing fighting games and supporting your community. Thank you to Capcom as well. See you guys. Are we clear? Yes.